Hello, a beautiful evening. Yeah, I don't know apes, but I did notice that when I started stream that it still was like loading chat, so it might have just not been there because of that. You know what songs are always happy? That's not true, there are sad songs there too. Though I usually don't take them serious. <laughs> But there are songs that are supposed to be said there. Nah, but the Neo Automata song, man, The Fields, it's like... You know... Neo Automata was pretty emotional. Yeah, it is Danganronpa time. Or rather... Uh, what's this? Mono... Monokuma? I forgot his... I forget, forgot the bear's name. Hey, friend! Nice you here! How are you? Already a spoiler, we're not gonna stream that long today. Yesterday was way too long, I'm super tired. I only slept like four hours or so. I'm, I'm pretty done, pretty tired. Um, so yeah, but I still wanted to do a short stream. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was a short stream, right? <laughs> But if we go today shorter, I'm sure we can go longer tomorrow again. Alright, let me start up the game. Fade out the beautiful Xenoblade music. Thank you, apes. Thank you. I appreciate it too. Like, it... it it was really good yesterday for me. It really was. Um, like, I went too long, but like, uh, it was really good. You guys are a good distraction. <laughs> oh. oh, friends, for you. Uh, and uh, a beautiful day to your prince. That hint is so silly, King Snaker. It's so silly. Like, like I I couldn't believe I couldn't believe how they how they when they when the game presented me with numbers instead of. Clearly, Leon being written there. <laughs> uh, your microwave died. I don't even have a microwave. I actually just never use a microwave. That was just the tutorial. I mean, yeah, I guess the, the it was the tutorial trial. Um, it was still really silly. But people said yesterday on stream that uh, they. Uh, like Tree, uh, Tree Hugger said, he had he saw the numbers when he played, and not the name. And yeah, other streamers apparently have too. I actually already have all three uh, Dengan Rumper games, Apes. I bought them already. They were on sale, I remember. I bought them already a while ago. <laughs> Not everyone can have that big of a brain. And hey, Sleepy! <laughs> and her fans. I, I, I always feel like... I don't know. I don't like calling my viewers fans. I don't, I don't feel like just because you're viewing my stream, you're like a fan. I don't know. I also feel like it's a little bit disrespectful. Or, I don't know, not disrespectful, but like very, you know, as if I'm like that kind of social influencer, you know, and I have my fans and, and my followers, and <laughs> it's like, it, it just sounds so unequal. I did. I did call it from the beginning. I came up with all kinds of theories on like how it could work out, like how it would still be framed the right 
like, I didn't get it fully, obviously. What I didn't get was that she would invite invite her with I will them. refer to myself as a Sammy Salami fangirl dance game. <laughs> Thank you for the babes. All right. Jeez, it's loud. Um, yeah. All right, uh, I wanna turn down the music volume actually again because the vo voices were still really low compared to the music. Question is just, can you still hear the music now? Like you said, hey. Okay, good. Then I do think we will like do this. Uh, uh, yeah, this one. I wanted to say something else, but I kind of forgot. The game, it looks really cool. I'm actually excited to see how it continues. Same, Sleepy, same. It's just, I don't know, it's really cool. And I'm also curious about how the next cases are gonna go. Like, yeah. Um, toilet paper, more, more, more. I still haven't been able to buy toilet paper myself. However, my mom and my friend, like I got two rolls of toilet paper from my mom and I got three rolls of toilet paper from a friend. So I'm, I'm like, I'm fine again. I can, can hold out for a few more weeks again. Sam again old? Yeah, I am. Start chopping the trees. <laughs> uh. Wait, what? What's going on? That's it! Why are we at night inside our room not saying a word? It's gone. She... she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence had disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class tire, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh -huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class tire is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all cor the corpses. It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smile and face is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's death. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Apparently I did what I had to do. Wait, why are we meeting up at night time? Sorry, I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? I should have brought one million rolls of toilet paper and sold them. <laughs> I mean, of course you can't just, like, sell, like, in masses without, like, actually uh, acquiring, like, I don't know what it's called, a commercial license or something? I don't know. I, I myself, as a streamer, because I earn money, I have a business, basically. But yeah, you need to have a business. You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go get you and drag you back here. So, sorry. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? 
I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on. <laughs> Prince, oh god. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would just hurt as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Mm. Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up! Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone, just try and cheer up and get back on track. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's, hap it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. Yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well. Maybe I can turn my Celeste fan club into business. <laughs> 18,000! Holy shit, 80,000 is a lot. Jeez, some people, man. Yeah. Unbelievable. We're truly sorry. We... <laughs> like... No, you're not. You're sorry that you got caught and couldn't do your business. <laughs> like they they knew exactly what they were doing holy shit eighty thousand. jeez but but if we work together against the mastermind nobody will have any reason to do something like that keep telling yourself that i'll be over here in the real world working together fighting a common enemy like it or not it's not that simple well what do you mean are you okay with this the mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then what are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No what? No what? I, I can't take it. I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. A anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. Stop saying that, Makoto. Sayaka made a choice, Leon made a choice. If you're saying it like this, that it's like that it's only the mastermind's fault, you're you're like saying that it's okay for people here to kill other people. Because they are not to blame. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. I mean, yeah, I, I agree on the voting thing, but... And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the Mastermind. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. 
It is now 10 p.m. Sleepy As time. Such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. <laughs> now pay attention and remember this well. Okay. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. God, this, uh... These fucking bear pants. <laughs> yeah, like you, like you, like you. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. What? What was that about just now? Is he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. That piece of shit who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the death of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. You know? I, I know I'm not supposed to question, question these things, but like... Since it's about despair, the bear has really no interest in the trial voting the wrong person. Because then he kills basically all of them uh, at once, right? Or is somebody actually has no interest in somebody succeeding with the murder. Because then he has to kill everyone and let that one person go. So no one's going to be really that much in despair because they're just going to be dead instantly. You betting my hope is again on Toko? All right. Wait, who do, who do I think is going to die next? I feel like it might be the fat guy. Or the swimmer girl. I think it's not the swimmer girl just because uh, we already had two girls die. So I think the swimmer girl is not next, even though she's pretty boring. So I think it's the fat guy. Uh, we were thinking the same, Aves. I was thinking of Aoi and Hifumi, uh, like actually, because Aoi is kind of boring. Hifumi is annoying and also doesn't bring as much to the game. Fat guy, you don't like him because he's fat? I didn't say I don't like him because he's fat. I just described him and I said I didn't like him. Also, the chapter is Boy's Life of Despair. You think she's the one dying if you don't bet for her? Hmm. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? That's what I meant in life. <laughs> Come on. We were practically frozen with fear. But Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. This is 2D action. I mean, who cares? Bird, hey! A beautiful day to you. Yes, Sakura is still alive. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. They're really looking after us, even making sure we do some exercises. <sighs> ah, doesn't this feel just great? 
being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. Y you're the one keeping us stuck inside. Don't sweat the small stuff, that's my motto. Wow, I sound pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours. That sounds that sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, uh... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Uh, okay, so then... Ah, uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a cluster, I hear it helps peak a whole new world will open up to you. A whole new world? It would really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your age, ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. So go ahead, look around all you want, enjoy the brave new post driver till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But a new world? Is he talking about a way to get outside? That seems unlikely. Well, we don't know till we look. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. Okay, now let's split up, start, uh, split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. You're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? More like a stable food source, now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. The gym. Can Monokuma be the killer? Uh, I mean... He did kill, he does kill people when they um, break rules, certain bird. Then he kills people, but besides that, the game is basically uh, people need to kill each other without being discovered. So like when somebody dies, a trial is held and uh, if they aren't discovered as the murderer, they can get out. How did he know that I fell in love with him? <laughs> My heart swells when I have... Oh, see it bird. Happy to hear. I mean, I hope not in a bad way, but... Uh, nine. No. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm not gonna stream long today. Like, my brain, like, I'm, I'm actually super tired. Oh, I think I know what what you mean, Suit and Burn. You mean that anime, right? I mean, there are a lot of stories like this, right? Like a little bit Hunger Games style. I know what you mean, though. Um, Mirai Nikki is, I think, the name of the anime. Words escape you, yeah. Uh, Mirai Nikki um, with the psycho girl and the boy, and they have like these phones. And they also need to kill each other. Yes. Great anime. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, okay. I would think that maybe the second floor is available now. Probably we can't go further than this. I like psycho girls and enemies, but that girl scared me. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, Mira and Nikki. Uh, not sh it will probably not be on Netflix, Apes. I would imagine it's already Ill like it's not old, but I, I think it's like maybe ten years old or so. And since it's like a l quite edgy, it's like psycho thriller. It's probably not on Netflix. 
Are we supposed to search for ourselves or talk to the people? I would have the stairs in mind. I went and checked the metal hatch in the main hall just to be sure, but just like I figured it hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he made things that easy for us. Hey! What? Don't make that face. You look like a pussy. You want me to put some fighting spray in you? Well, do you? No, thanks. I've got enough for now. Well, okay. I'm gonna look for another way out then. Uh, oh yeah, the store is here. I think we got some... Oh my god, we got so many! We have 94 coins now? Should I now use multiple coins in the store? Oh, okay. You never finished it? Yeah, like, I, I'm guessing the stairs. Oh, okay. Okay, King Snaker, yeah. I'm also not sure that Mirai and Nikki, like, I'm not sure if it ever left uh, Japan apes. And if so, what its English title would be then. Yeah, I mean... Like, uh, Mirai Nikki is definitely creepy at points. But, I don't know, I, I really liked it. I guess, like, it depends a little bit on how many, uh... Oh, it was the stairs, but not the stairs I thought. Um, it depends on how many, like, psycho-thriller animes you've seen, how much you're gonna be shocked or not. Oh, it has an English dub. Oh, okay. So it is called Future Diary in English. Okay, okay. Yeah, Mirai Nikki is Future Diary. Mirai Nikki is the Japanese name. <laughs> oh, I see, Sleepy. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I only watched the anime. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this was Mun what Munakuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Ooh, a pool. I feel like someone's gonna be gonna get drowned in a in the pool. Oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! Pool, pool, pool! You don't have to keep repeating it, I got it. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Yeah, that's exactly what I said, Aves. Somebody's gonna get drowned in the pool. Somebody's gonna die in there. Behind the door is the locker room. Yeah. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course. Really, really? Oh. If you wanna unlock wanna unlocker the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy handbook boy's handbook can open the boys' locker room, and the same goes for the girls. Again, like a mechanic where, like, you know, uh, obviously the killer is gonna try to swap and use, like, the different locker to um, make it look like uh, the other gender did it.
And that's the bottom line. Hmm, but what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See? There's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? That will be all ducka 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 ducka. I bet it would really hurt to get shot by that thing. Mm, though I think it would be a little worse than that. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Well, that never occurred to me to think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm. Okay, then how's this sound? Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. There. So now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's cause my brain is 100% cotton. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. It's cause all you teenagers are sex Christ man maniacs. You're at the age you try humping a plastic bottle. So to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. Then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. All I care about is protecting the whole image of the school itself. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. I hate you so much. Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya. Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. Celeste, did you You wanna come with me? There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Sorry, I'll pass this time. I think Aoi is gonna die. Though... Hey Panda, nice to hear. Though, maybe, also not maybe, but she maybe will be the prime suspect because it will happen definitely. Like, I'm I'm very, very certain the victim, like, the murder is gonna happen around the pool. The victim will be drowned or something. Maybe the victim will float in the water or something. I don't know. And it will either be Aoi just because she goes swim swimming but i think it would be cooler if it wouldn't be her but she would be the prime suspect because everyone's like she's like the you know the swimming girl and i don't know can do some special stuff because of that if if fumi is the victim he's not gonna float <laughs> You already know who dies, yeah. Sorry, I'll pass this time. How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. Pretty sure that only applies to you. Uh... There are a bunch of different pool related items on the shelf. I'm just wondering. Can I go in? The boys locker room card grid I can open using my e-handbook. Do it! Okay, there we go. <laughs> Look at that image! Now, this is an interesting poster. Obviously someone put this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this here? Yeah, the machine gun is there in case you try to sneak in into uh, the locker room of uh, the, the other gender. Yeah, a fine decoration it is. What? 
So it just sends me there. Lockers. Well, I would expect to see that at any normal pool. Is that it? How do I... How do I go back? It's so weird, man. I can't move back. Like, there was a chair behind me. But I can't even look at it now. Ah. Ah, okay. So yeah, this just gets us to the other side. Ooh, records for boys and girls. Are we gonna have a competition here? Manly room needs to a typical process. Uh-huh. Yes. All right, let's see what else is here on the second floor. Okay, that is another classroom, it seems. The baby sleeping, please be quiet. This must be what you meant by a new world. Should probably take a really close look around. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but on the second floor too, the windows here have those same metal plates covering them. sakura -chan, yes. Of course Sakura is still around. Dee -dee. The fan favorite, yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Oh yeah, here are the stairs. Okay, yeah, but the stairs to the third floor obviously closed. A library. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a ladder. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. It was it was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke the seal in the dusty envelope and, and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. So if someone is able to commit a murder without being noticed, by some half-grown teenagers that need to vote in a trial. They are after that, that elitist person <laughs> that can do any major job. Oh, of course, Panda, yeah. Actually, I did think about moving the logo over, over there in the corner, like here, but when you know, I uh, mentioned the eyes thing yesterday, I was like, eh, I might keep it. Sleepy Sami Salami? Yeah, I am sleepy. I only slept like four hours and we streamed really long yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter has had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So, you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But, but that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? Before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. That must have all a part of the mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people who would potentially be capable of anything. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However, if it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. I mean, it does seem... Everything seems really far-fetched, like the theories about the school. Like, when the school is shut down, how is it possible that, like, the parents registered them for that school? You know, that the kids went to that school? Like... I don't know. They should have just kidnapped them in a truck. Oh, some Overwatch talk. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. That would be a nice simple solution, it's true. But then what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. Make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah, I almost think it's more likely that it maybe was shut down, but this is like the new Hope Peak, Hope's Peak little secret program, whatever it's for. If, I don't know, a social experiment, whatever. Or just a maniac killer. It is the Spears Peak Academy, yeah, but... I mean, yeah, like, there was, like, when he entered the school, like, here's what I think. I think the school, Hope's Peak Academy, just normally exists in the real world. I think we are not... I don't think we are actually in Hope's Peak Academy. Because at the start of the game, when he entered the school, there was this kind of, like, warping they showed. So, I think... I don't know, we ended up in a parallel universe or something and are in Despair's Peak Academy instead of Hope's Peak Academy. But in the real world, Hope's Peak Academy just normally exists. And maybe even time goes differently over here, so that's why nobody is missing us in the real world. The vault door? Yeah, it's like... Also... Monokuma said we should imagine that we're in space. I mean, the vault door looks like if, as if it could be in space, but I don't think we're in space. I don't think we're warped into space. That would be weird. Yeah, maybe that. I don't know, but yeah, I, I think I think we're not. I think we're we're. We're just like in some sort of parallel universe. 
I don't know. It, it would. It, it kind of feels that way because you know, instead of at Hope Peak Academy, we're at Despair Peak Academy. <laughs> Sleepy. Makoto's parents seem to like him. Yeah. I mean, on the other hand, we don't know if they are missing us or not. Like, they could be missing us and even searching for us, but just not be finding us, right? But I kind of feel like that isn't the case. We tend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? The two events are in fact connected. Uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can't figure out why they would want to imprison us all here. Will that be enough to get us out of here? No. I mean, that part is kind of like, what are you expecting, guys? Isn't it kind of obvious that, like, they are dealing with a psychopath? They need to find a way out. The motive actually, like, there's... There... I don't know, the motive is gonna be probably like, I enjoy doing my own little social experiments. Uh, Panda, uh, I mean, pretty much everything went down yesterday, so if you are curious, maybe uh, check out yesterday's watch. Psychopath scientist versus the border, right? <laughs> uh. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. Looks like this library's been neglected for a pretty long time. Even though it's a, a, it's a prestigious high school, they've been pretty careless about keeping it nice. I didn't even mean to click that, I meant to talk to Toki. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Indeed. There's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? C comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. I've seen what you've read, Miss Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. Ooh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy on boy action. Boy on boy, I don't care if it's anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. It's all filth. Damn, girl! Throw away culture that will be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. I, f I think apes, Toko might be the next one to die. She called boy on boy action all filth. Point click detective games are fun to me. That's what this stream taught me about myself, so I will check it out. Nice, Panda. Yeah, you really you really did pick up on those uh, adventures. Last thing was that door that Monokuma taught, taught us to open and a little after that. Yeah, were you here yesterday at all, Panda? I mean, she kind of has to die now after these, she said these things, right? Playing an enemy game. Ugh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You 
you've insulted me and you've insulted my honor. Also, and then if she dies, everyone will blame Hifumi because they had a fight. And then maybe it was actually the swimmer girl. Hmm. Oh, you were? I wasn't sure because you... Like, okay, in my memory you did say hi yesterday, but since you said the last thing you remember is how he taught us to open the door, I think that wasn't yesterday. Or was it? I thought that was like... No, I don't think that was yesterday. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. Hmm. Yeah, I remember that he said hi, but like what he writes, what he remembers last was not yesterday. I'm pretty sure. She didn't say goodbye either, so I contemplated on what I did wrong. Oh no. Okay, I didn't see it when you said uh, goodnight though. But still, this library is most interesting. Huh. Huh, what's interesting about it? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. A laptop? It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, it's all covered in dust. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. If it's broken, then there's nothing I can really do about it. We can ask the computer girl. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor, but I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I'd better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. To me. Yeah, right, apes? It's broken just because it didn't turn on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover any interesting interesting new anything? Yes, There's a library. Okay. And a pool, a freaking pool, and locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane. So go ahead and stuff yourself to the guilds whenever you feel like. You okay Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, well, um... There wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Uh, unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now or a warehouse or whatever the fuck? We're still around. trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> no, no. There's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of Whatever you say, a fucking loon. And I'll just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So, so are we done for today? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope? Just to turn around and betray that hope? Yes, yeah, Sleepy, I... Okay. Okay. Sleepy, you stop right there. I yesterday, I yesterday complained about that so much. How they were crying like every two sentences. How every fucking window is plated. And how there is no fucking way out. And that they did that while we were all standing in the dining room looking outside. I complained about that a lot and chat intervened. 
Uh, well, King Snake has said it's an indoors room we're looking at. Like, we're, we're looking at a fake indoor garden. That was yesterday. You might have not been there yet. I'm pretty sure. Or was it yesterday? Maybe it was the stream before that. It was. No, I think it might have been uh, the stream before that on Monday. It was pretty early in the game. Because, like, it was the first time we were in the dining. Uh, in the dining hall. So it could have been Monday during the prologue. I want to spend time with Kyoko. I want to figure out what she is. I think she's like the ultimate detective or something. Oh, you don't know for sure. It's not... It's not mentioned the whole fucking game. That, that triggers me even more now. How did the devs think they could put that there and not, shouldn't maybe explain it? We all promised not to leave our rooms during night time. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Oh, I see Panda, yeah. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby. I can say I'm super good at and my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend, which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. <laughs> Red King Snaker. <laughs> Thank you. True sleepy. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Oh, that's right. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. Uh-huh. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. A new rule. Oh, is that just the rule? Yeah. You must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. All right, yeah, let's just go straight to the dining hall. Do a little save. Good morning, is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope, still waiting on Byakuya and Taka. Well, we're always waiting on Byakuya, however, Taka, my lady apes, Taka is a punctual one, isn't she? Byakuya is no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> morning, Taka, I imagine uh, he's trying to get the King of Tyrants up and out of bed. Oh, you're right, it's Taka on a toko. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, who does that? Put a character Taka and Toku into the game. Yeah, Kingsnaker, I know, I said, okay. 
here's the thing I said yesterday already. It looks like it's a wall, but you can't tell if it's like the wall of another building or if it's like the wall of the same building, right? No, don't spile him. Don't spile him. He can watch the what? He can watch the what? Sanren kind of did that too. Yomi and Yumi. Well, that's even worse. Uh, worse. <laughs> well done, ultimate assistant. Okay. Uh, actually, Taka would also make sense to Dyson because Taka is very stereotypical. Just, you know, the brute too. But I feel like he's kind of similar to Leon, so you wouldn't kill him just yet. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough, just be patient. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is? I'm thirsty. How the hell is that a problem? Oh wait! Oh, I, s I thought Taka was this guy. This is Mondo. I thought Taka was this guy. Wait, is Taka the moral guy? You can tell if it's the other building? Okay. Taka is the one in white clothes. Spiky hair. I'm blacking, totally blacking out on Taka. I thought m this Mondo was it. Notice me, Sakura chan. <laughs> Taka. Wait, let me let me think. God. Spiky hair, red eyes, always yelling. That sounds so much like Leon or Mondo. Huh. The school uniform, dude. That reminds me of Byakuya. Got that. Okay, I will see. How the hell's that a problem? You feel me, but you make me some. T you feel me, but you make me some tea. Huh? Milk tea, if you please. But why me? Your vanish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna check now. Taka. <laughs> there is no Taka! Then it is the moral guy! It is the moral guy! That's what, who I meant when I said the moral guy. He's the guy who always is, you know, ultimate moral compass. Yeah, that's his special ability. He's the ultimate moral compass. That's why he's always, you know, in taking care of like who does go, goes on cleaning duty and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but Leon, like Leon and, uh, Mando are also or always shouting. Oh, Leon was also always shouting, so... Jeez. Okay, apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, he filmed me sculpt his way into the kitchen, and a few minutes later... Thank you for waiting. He filmed me reappeared with the tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. Finally. You could have made some for the rest of us, you know? I can perfectly, empathically, empathic. 
Wait. Emphatically? It's not empathetically. It's emph emphat. Is that a typo or does that word exist like that? Emphatically. Emphatically? Decline. You're not my type at all. Hmm, it's all about the law of casualty. A casualty. Basic instinct. Act and react. Mm. Emphasis? Yeah, but emphatically? Yeah, yeah, I know what emphasis is, Panda. But emphatically? Yeah, you're, you're behind, Kingsnaker. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Oh, she thinks it, it might be poisoned. What? Hey, what are you doing? My little white rabbit! I hate this kind of tea. Mm, I don't understand. Imagine, we are at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday coffee, cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. They then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further, further imagine that I replied, ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? But this is not for me. I'm among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. More cond condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review the menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I would have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went to all that travel to make you that tea, and you wanted me to go even farther? Yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... I even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality. Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You that does not matter! Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine! Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, okay, your little piggy will bring it right out! Ifumi is also a simp. I do so love coercion. You are like a totally different person just now. Yeah, shit, you really went psycho there. <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd ha hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. Storming? But... Bad news, everyone. There's a mystery afoot. Huh? What happened? It would seem Byakia refuses to leave his room. I stood there, pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. Oh, Byakia, really? What he meant by that, he didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It, it, it might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Ah, uh, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button till I get a response. Very well, then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we have to just do our best to find Byakuya. So where might Byakuya have gone? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. Hmm, I didn't expect Byakuya to die so early. I thought, like, you know, that smartest dude that 
entrepreneur, smartest dude would stay a bit longer in the game. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way to the pool. Of course! We all suspect the pool. actually seems clear unless he got he's inside the locker maybe that's why he was killed the dealer didn't want to deal with him club didn't want to deal with him in a trial I don't know I felt like uh, I felt like Byakia would be the kind of dude who would do kill someone eventually because he sees everyone else as like you know ants basically as plebs I, I thought like he was a pretty obvious uh, murderer I mean he could theoretically also be in the girls locker room But we can't go inside, so we have to ask Sakura. It would appear Byakuya is not here. Since this morning, I thought he might have gone to the locker room to exercise, but I forgot that girls can't open the boys' locker room door. Oh yeah, true. I knocked, but nobody answered. I listened for the sound of equipment being used, but there was nothing. So he must not be in there. Besides, Byakuya doesn't seem like the type to go sweat all out this early in the morning. Do you exercise every single morning, Sakura? Of course. Of course. If I didn't get my blood pumping early in the morning, it would throw off my rhythm for the entire day. Yeah, I guess the library is more his place. Yeah, Byakuya the creep. He was killed because he sneaked into the into the girl's room. Alright, let's check out the library. Oh, Byakuya also said that the library is very interesting. He said, he said that the library is very interesting to him and when Makoto asked, he said he was just thinking out loud. So the library totally makes sense. I think he's not dead. He's not dead. I, I kind of feel like he's actually not dead, but he's just sitting here in the library reading some. I cried out in sudden surprise. Oh, maybe he is dead. Byakuya? No, he's not. See chat? I knew. Because the library? Not yet. The pool. It must be the pool. The pool is the next place where murder will happen. <laughs> he choked on a book. <laughs> this is a visual novel. Okay, so yeah. I know. Of all the things I'd imagined, this most definitely wasn't one of them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Game can't kill all the characters in two hours. I mean, yeah, that's true too, Kingsnaker. But that wasn't my point. Oh yeah, I guess because he said there's no point in working together anymore. Can't I get a second piece of quiet around here? Becca snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. 
Gyakyo, so this is where you've been hiding. What the heck are you doing here, man? We are very concerned. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. But what were you reading? A mystery novel. Well, wait, so are you gonna use what you're learning in there to betray us? Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? It's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. Also, I told you guys, like, he's the kind of... He's the kind of dude who will be around for a little bit longer. But he will be the murderer at some point, but his case is gonna be harder than the others. If Sami is Leon, she was the killer all along. So we were right. But what makes me Leon? So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. Hmm. This word sends a chill down my spine. Oh yeah, and people are gonna probably now uh, suspect him for the next murder because um, he said these things. But he's not gonna be the murderer of the next murder case. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. What the fuck do you mean game? That's fucked up! But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. He is right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? It is a part of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, our limited resources is that only one of us can successfully become the blackened. So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. Th that, that can't be what they had in mind. This is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. But why would I want to stop, play stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something like human. Sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami hair, parent. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch. Who the fuck do you think you are? You know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? That an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. I'm gonna fucking kill you! Like I said, I won't die. He keeps saying that, but... Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He's the ultimate affluent progeny. After all, a boy rise to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. Is that not so, Byakia? At least one of you seems to understand. It is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Well, well I do apologize. Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder if an opponent isn't going to give it their best. Where's the fun for me? That's a terrible way to look at it. Yeah, he's so fucking dead. <laughs> Chad is ripping everyone. Yeah, we are. Hmm. It's this isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill your own friends is—it's horrific. It's horrific. Friends? Who decided that? 
We're not friends, not quite the opposite. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But... Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Yes, if you have something to say it, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Hey, Jeanette, you get off on bullying people that can't fight back? You wanna try that on me? So you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Fuck you! Is that all you can say? It's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch. That's it. You're fucking dead. Hold on, just calm down. I am calm. How's this calm? Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To co cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, frankly, it's a waste of time. And I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the last supper just yet. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. All I'm saying is that ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Byakuya left. It's still safer to be with others. Like... He might be smart, but he's definitely not physically very strong. Like, what makes him think that, like... He would stand a chance against Sakura? Toko still isn't here. Toko hasn't talked. You are right. No one stands a chance against Sakura. Yeah, so I think it's kind of weird. Like, it's still safer to be with uh, multiple people. Yeah, you are the safest because uh, they can only become the blackened if nobody knows you killed them. I'm but in the hands of Sakura. <laughs> there wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. Is he serious about all that? He was, without a doubt. Fuck well, fuck him then. Maybe. Oh, nope, Toko is here, apes. But, but what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? Hey, come on, you too, Toko? I mean, if you kill everyone besides yourself in one swoop, there is nobody that can discover you, right? So you ha don't have to worry about the trial. So yeah, poisoning the food is actually what the, would actually be the best approach. God damn, I don't kind of just die. <laughs> You agree? <laughs> I, I'm just saying, it's, it seems the most efficient. You don't have to worry about trial if you just kill everyone besides yourself. Actually, I bet you all want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. Oh my god, Toko hurt you, apes. None of us think that. <laughs> and Makoto's lying. You. you just... I think you don't think that. <laughs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. You think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone. And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Uh, hey, Togo, wait. Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. She might actually die, Ace. She just ran off, and then we're gonna find we're gonna find her, maybe dead. On the other hand, King Sega also said like something along the lines: maybe there's gonna be a little bit more time now until the next person dies. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Ooh, free time. Geez, I'm tired already, but I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Free time. So yeah, she's probably not dead. Since we have some free time.
Yeah, she she she's not uh, she's not dead. Uh, I wanna spend time with Kyoko. Yeah, she's Toko is in her room, see? She certainly has some helpful ability. You know the smartest strats for dating? Enlighten us, King Snaker. I have to put all my edge into watching out for myself. I don't have time to worry about anyone else. Spend some time with Kyoko. You want to spend time with me? I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? Spend some time with Kyoko in silence. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Hmm. Maybe. Let's see if we have anything fitting. Should I have gone to the store again? Ration. Oh, that's some food. An everlasting bracelet. That seems pretty cute. We already gifted. Wait, can we gift it again? Yeah, no, it says zero. What is that? Is that. What is Pagan Dancer? If a person dies, you can't get its skill. True, maybe I should have... No, we already got Toko's skill, right? Yeah, yeah, we talked to Toko, we're good. Yeah, <laughs> Prince, right? Maiden's handbag. I'm not sure Kyoko is the type of girl for that. Water flute. Chindrill. Nah, that doesn't this seem like a Sakura. I feel like the maiden's handbag we should keep. What is a pagan dancer? I have to actually do some research. Pagan dancer. What's that? Okay, I thought there would be something like that, but is it a figure? Is it a game? The picture is so pixelated. Oh, it didn't spoil the game. It's just showing, it's literally just showing me images of dancing people. Yeah. Hmm. Fine, I'll, I'll... Nah, I don't know. I feel like it's... Okay, I need to... I need to ask King Snaker. Are there negative presents? Like, are there presents? Like, if the person doesn't like it, does it affect the relationship negatively? For some people, yes. Okay. Okay, whatever. I try the everlasting bracelet. I like Kyoko. Oh, wait, though. Oh. I just thought about... Uh, I, I did, forgot that there was a description. I could have read the description of the pagan dancer. It would give you zero points. Well, zero... Okay, it's not a negative, though. Okay. Oh, Haru was gonna be male? Oh, wow. Are you sure about this? Sorry. Why did she say sorry? Are you scared, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Being trapped in a place like this. Who wouldn't be? 
Of course I'm scared being trapped in this insane school. Ah, that's good. That's good? Fear is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who can't feel fear. Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. I'm scared too, of course. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. You hide, huh? What I mean is, I'm not as foolish open, foolishly open as you are. Foolishly open? Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh, what do you mean? You're afraid of what you might lose, right? But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. Sorry, I don't understand. I know. Wait. Maybe. Maybe she is the ultimate winner or the ultimate. Maybe she's the ultimate despair winner. What if she already played this game before and won? And now she's here again for some fucking reason. Maybe the winner always needs to only gets freedom for a limited amount of time and has to go into the next round. Because she said she's scared of what she already lost. Which kind of sounds like she already played this game. That would also explain why she already like... Why she wasn't very shocked at most of the stuff. At least I feel like she at least knows more about this than she says. She didn't bother answering any further, she just turned and goodbye. With that, she was gone. Well, we're still just getting to know each other, maybe we'll talk more next time. I don't think I understand, it, understand, understand her at all yet. Skill points? I need new skills, man. I already can't fill the skill points I have. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. There's still plenty of time left. I can't just sit around here, I should head out. Can I talk to her again? Maybe, let's try. I, d I think you need to reach a certain relation status with them. I guess I should press the doorbell. What's the matter? Are you keeping an eye on me? Don't worry, I'm not going to kill anyone. It's true. I was just about to head to the dining hall to get something to drink. Do you want to come with me? I went to the dining hall and drank some tea with Kyoko. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Alright, let's try something else. Uh, I want to see the description on the pagan dancer. A major game designed uh, for the fun plane, which allows you to become a massive god handing out divine... Oh wow, it's a game. No, I'm not gonna give her a game. Available only at the posh maiden road, which is geared toward female, female fanfic fans. Please, please make me uh, take me with you next time you go. Fanfic fans, so... That should be for Toko, right? A unique type of flute. You pour water into the base and blow into the top, which can create a variety of sounds similar to a chirping bird. Who would that fit to, like, besides myself? I want to check the cards. Hmm. Yeah, the game may be Hifumi. I like her. I like birds. Let's give her the flute. I 
think the sound is supposed to indicate me whether the present is good or not. This is something you don't see too often. Do you mind if I keep it? I'd like to take a closer look, closer look at it. Okay, this one she likes. She didn't like the bracelet though. I mean, I guess it was a little bit early to give her some jewelry. Sorry, I'm desperate. I'm desperate, Kyoko. <laughs> Does that mean she liked it? Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, I'm um, Kyoko. If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. You could certainly make the argument that forming friendships may help prevent killings, but are you asking for some kind of deep connection? Huh? You could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friend so you can gather information. No, that's not... Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? A test? Right. If you're as gung-ho on friendship as you claim, this should be an easy question. Uh, okay, so I just have to answer questions. Is that it? So Are you ready? You consider Hina one of your friends, yes? Yeah. If that's true, what is her ultimate ability? Is it Aoi? Aoi Hina? I mean, it must be, because there's nobody here running. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, of course. Correct. Well, asked and answered. Then your pleas of camaraderie are true. Of course. Yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you could never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again with that foolishly open stuff. Okay then, as promised, what would you like to know about me? Um, let's see. What school did you use to go- No! Ask her what her ultimate ability is! Seriously, Mako, do you get this one question and you're asking what school she went to? <sighs> Mako, you're hopeless. There are so many interesting things to ask. Oh, Asahina, and hey Solheim, a beautiful day to you. Like, you could ask what she knew about all of this beforehand, what her ultimate ability is. He could have asked for her DVD, what was on it. Oh, bright apes. What school did you used to go to before you came here? So... Before I came here? I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it an exchange program or do your parents work overseas or something? My parents, I suppose? That does indeed sound like she... She, like, I guess I was overseas. I guess my parents... Maybe my theory is right. Maybe she's like, she's already played this game before and did win, in fact. And now she has to play again. But then she would just tell everybody that it's no use. Hmm. I would ask for the color of her panties. Mm -hmm. Is that really a thing, though? Like, does it matter? I know you're, you're making a joke, Panda, but like, does it matter, actually? Knowing the color of the panties? Like, what does it change? Why are the question marks? I never watched the cube, actually. Anyway, okay. So she was living abroad because of her dad's job. So what kind of work does he do? Foreign government? Top secret clearance? Or, I mean, I did ta say always she's either like ultimate agent or ult like ultimate detective, ultimate spy. I did think about that too. More question marks? Okay, so he does top secret work for other governments. All I can think of is assassin. I kept up my end of the deal. This should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. 
She left without even waiting for a reply. She's so full of mystery. And hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. Oh, God damn it, I want a skill. Once we're, we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Yeah, I think we have to talk to someone else. I need, to, like, if we get free time next time, we need new skills. It's similar to knowing someone's body, but obviously just as untrue. Okay, yeah. It helps my imagination. Oh. Yearn for blood already, Aves. I, I assume we will get uh, probably at least one more free time before some shit is gonna go down again. Really, Panda? But it was. I mean, it was more a joke, wasn't it? I mean, come on. It really doesn't matter. Just imagine the color that you think is hottest. Problem solved. Like at that point you wouldn't even want to know the actual color anymore. Because that would just make your imagination worse. Another day gone. But even though today is over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this gonna keep going? Why do I disappoint you, Prince? All the stress and excitement kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Yeah, I should go buy more presents, you're right. I forgot to go to the store again. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. <laughs> yeah, I get that, Panda. I can't help it, I just gaze with intensity. The other day I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom just looking at myself in the mirror. That's already it? Hmm, yeah, maybe sleepy. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Oh no, that's... I re responded to the blood time si type thing, Prince. That's just an, as untrue. But I didn't see the otherwise, it's just nice to know. Oh, the one before that, okay. Before blood type. Oh, I think it's because people are supposed to understand someone's personality better based on the color style. But the thing is, like, you know, normal undies are not that much... Like... They do not represent like your style that much. You still buy what you like, but like, you know, what you actually wear on the outside usually represents your style way stronger. If they have bad taste, I might have a chance. <laughs> oh God, sleepy, start valuing yourself. <laughs> Go on. Well, I guess I'd better head off to the dining hall before anything else. 
Actually, it doesn't make sense to go teleport. Can I? Nah, probably I can't go to the store right now. God, we're gonna have to use that machine so often. I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always, but... Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Pyakia and Toko had stormed with yesterday and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Even the table looks bigger somehow. I assume that is because three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing I guess it would feel kinda empty. Still, I know Pyakia's whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Toko? I would know, she's super annoying. How can you be so cold? You're like a piece of rock candy. What? No rock candy isn't cold, it's sweet. What comment was that? <laughs> People think men who wear briefs are childish? Wait, what are briefs? What kind of underwear are briefs? Men's boxers and briefs. Three. Oh, they're basically like pants, like like normal pants for girls. Yeah, the tight ones. Okay. Also, red underwear means they are smart. Can't see blood stains on red underwear. Nope, sleepy. You got it all wrong. Red underwear means they crazy. <laughs> And you know, <laughs> you know, uh, you learn to handle your, you know, blood issues. I mean, the thing is, it depends what kind of, um, like, actual pants you're wearing, right? Because. Boxer shorts, like you can't wear boxer shorts under tight pants. So if you like to wear tight pants, I guess you have to go for briefs, right? Yeah, that's that is definitely the case, Prince. Girls care a lot more about style and usually have a lot more different styles going on. Any. Anyway, Byakuya is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. We got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna have to keep him bound and kicked. <laughs> I think... I think that's going a little overboard. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when Ali turns loose cannon. It's just like when we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or wherever. What, what the fuck are you talking about? You're gonna use the rope to do tug of war or something, idiot? I'm not an idiot. You're an idiot! Damn you. We call him stupid! Oh, what's wrong, Chiru? Don't look so great. I'm just going through a little self loathing. Self loathing? Well, after what Bergia said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous. I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Wanda ended up having to help me out, and even he said I was someone who can't fight back. I, I hate how weak I am. I see. So Wanda made you depressed. Wow. What? How is it my fault? I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? Uh, are you crying? It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. Oh wow, she's not gonna react to that he said that girls are naturally weak. <laughs> Panda. Hey, come on, don't cry, it's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Really? Not sure I can't be can believe that. Huh? Just shut up. Is there some lovey-dovey going on between Mondo and Aoi? Hey, girl, I'll make you a promise as a man. Promise as a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Left you? Oh yeah, my brother's dead. 
Oh, I see. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make all you guys cry. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise, so you don't gotta cry anymore. Uh, okay. Thank you, Mondo. Sure. But I still don't like how I'm right now. I have to get stronger. I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. S still, still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. No, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. In that case, I would be happy to help you out any time. But then Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces. Shut up, you! <laughs> you know? Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? Thank you. Everyone, thank you. Looks like Jiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man, if you keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. You can also tie a ribbon around your Johnson and give that as a gift to a girl. <laughs> oh. Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? Okay, so what should I do today? It was a hint to spend time with them. She put an anime sticker on the side of her truck? Oh, that's cute, Prince. Did she just do that because you like anime? That is cute. Alright, chat. Who are we gonna chat to? The game hinted at us like that we should maybe talk to Toko or Byakuya. Maybe go, we ta go talk to Byakuya. If he... If we can even spend time with them. Oh, first we go to the store and get presents. That's gonna take forever. Because we have so many coins. Uh, store. Let's talk to Toko. Though we did already talk to Toko once. And if she's the next one to die, I feel like it might not be worth investing. Where is... Yeah, 98 presents. That's the thing, actually. Like, you never get to make so many presents, do you? Can't imagine. Maybe you do. Who knows? Sure. Ooh, a very pretty ring. A telephone. The chances still increase for how many coins we're putting in. Wow, really? We just got that. What is that? A hat? Oh no, I did... Oh, okay. Tea. Oh, I know who that that it's not milk tea though. Hmm. Martial arts book? Or that one could be for Byakuya. It's gonna take a while, chat. Cutie pie. Ooh, lucky. So when we're lucky, we get like another. <laughs> Sleepy, you you got onto the pun train rather late. <laughs> Cat and dog. 
That might be for Chihiro, or what's her name is. A rock. Jeez. If they give you that many coins, then maybe we should have added an option where you can still use multiple at once, but still like one per throw. Another stone. Toilet paper? <laughs> I mean, toilet paper is very valuable in these times. <laughs> we just hit the jackpot chat. Again, that ring. Jeez. Imagine this game had 20 chapters with 10 free events in every chapter. Okay, yeah. But I don't think so. Because we're already in chapter 2 and 3 people are already dead. There are only 14 people left. How do you make 80 more chapters with 14 people? Also, we only had like, uh, we only had like, uh, three free times so far. No, I didn't ask if 98 coins is enough. I, I meant it the other way around. I meant, do you even need so many presents? That's what I meant. Like, I was like, isn't that already uh, a lot of coins? Like, do we, like, how much free time do we even get? We're not even halfway through it. Also, I, I, I think we will, like, get that much co many coins after every trial. I mean, I guess it's not that many trials, but still. Yeah, yeah, I know Kingsnaker. As I said, it didn't mean it that way around. I meant the other way around. I meant like... Why are you getting so many presents? There's barely a way you're gonna make that many presents during this game. Oh, you don't think I will... Yeah, possibly. I will not sit here again and open 90 again. Barely. <laughs> oh, sleepy. But you have noticed how Murakuma is making bear puns all the time, right? Ooh. Talking about panties, chat. Do I look like I notice things? <laughs> Maybe after washing them? We got coffee, you're right, Kingsnaker. I like my brain instantly, instantly forgot about seeing coffee because I could need one, but I shouldn't drink one. <laughs> That a chair? Isn't Tanga a Spanish Spanish city in the deep south? Could be. I actually don't know. 
It would be like fake gold and turn your skin green. Good news, chat. We're halfway. <laughs> uh, our baseball. Oh, rip Leon. <laughs> Photo camera is actually really handy. I regret my advice. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> this is all for you, Silheim. <laughs> I'm appreciating you as a mentor. <laughs> I would never go against your advice. <laughs> Oh, another, another slip. All right, sleepy. Damn, another, another baseball. Leon is dead, game. Oh, that one's cute. Panda. Thank you for the resub. Sorry, I just got annoyed no, clicking this away. No, don't say sorry. I'm happy to celebrate your resub. Thank you so much. Soon it's two years. Sorry, we'll find a way to turn any game into menu gaming. No, no, no. Oh, a game console. Nice. I'm, I'm just following my mentor's advice here. <laughs> Wait, was that was that an arrow with a like a bow and an arrow? Like literally a murder weapon? We're keeping the game console to ourselves, right? I mean, it seems like a present for Hifumi. We just got an achievement. I oh, see, it's no problem. We got another game console. <laughs> yeah. Another camera. Very handy things in here. Oh my god, that thing looks kind of creepy. Maybe for Celeste. And a telephone. I have... Who would we give the telephone to? Kyoko. I think that everything that's a little bit out of the ordinary, Kyoko. A passport? Was that a passport? A fake passport to get out of here? What was that? I, I don't know, Prince. But they're all just presents. You can call a taxi. <laughs> oh. A scarf. Coffee beans? No, that those weren't coffee beans. Maybe some sort of nuts. Okay, Sleepy. Another ring. What is that? That city seemed interesting. What's your favorite num number? Um, I don't know. The favorite number question was never one I could easily answer because I never like thought about like, oh, this number is super sexy. Yeah, I like 11 too. Actually, yeah, actually, I do have a relation with the 11, kinda. Um, I was 
Like, my birthday is the 2nd February, right? And I was born on the 2nd February on 10 p.m. and 11 minutes. So if you write it, like, in 24-hour format, 2211. I didn't think I've even ever even thought of numbers as sexy. Some has potential. I also had the 11 football. Nice. It was short for 11037. Oh no, back to that little riddle. Not. What's... That seemed disgusting. Yep, we're almost done, chat. Scissors! Man, so many murder weapons in here. Like, seriously. Now whenever a murder happens, we can go like, they got it from the store. You can't even gift people their murder weapons. A golden gun! And another achievement. Yeah, right, is this Yakuza? <laughs> Pink flashlight. Ooh, an amulet. Another gun. So no idea what these pins are. All right. Ah, oh, there we go. That was exhausting. Damn. Okay, let's talk to Biakuya. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> I wanna talk to... Oh, there he is in the library. We also got a book, which might be something for him. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. I'm actually kind of intrigued by gifting someone a weapon. Oh yeah, let me, let me uh, save the game. After opening all these. Let's see if he's gonna spend time with us. He seems to be really focus on that book. Now's not really good time to talk to him. Yeah, he doesn't spend time with us. Alright, then let's check out Toko. If she's gonna spend time with us or not. Uh, Toko's probably in her room. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Prince is seeing a pattern. <laughs> I guess I should press the doorbell. Leave me alone. You don't have to pay attention to me. Hmm, should I hang out with Toko? <laughs> Just do whatever you want. Spend some time with Toko. God, that look on her face again! <gasps> again! <laughs> Toko and I grew a little closer today. <laughs> oh god. I, already, I forgot about that. 
<laughs> the combination of those two. Yeah, Toku, please behave. Okay, but let's see what we have. Mineral water. Contains a highly stimulant, almost addictive sweetness, paired with some nice junk food. Um, coffee, tea, sea salt, potato chips, black croissant, Sony cup and noodle royal. There's so much food! Oh, those are sunflower seeds. Bird seeds. Love status? Okay, I think that. Or she is the girl of romance after all. Right on your right hand you're looking for love, on your left you found it. On both? Well that's just asking for catastrophe. <laughs> Zold's diamond. A brand name diamond popularly used in engagement rings, although this one's just an imitation. Hope's peak ring. A school ring emblazoned with the Hope's Peak Academy School dress that stands as proof of friendship between those who spend their youth together. Oh, I think that one was for Sayaka. Blueberry, no, she doesn't... The brooch? Maybe. The scarab was considered to be sacred by many ancient societies. It's better known today as the dung beetle. Hmm. Uh, let me check out that book that, that we got. The <laughs> Emperor's Thumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah you're right oh this one's for Aoi Dark red seat cover. Its refined design is intended for only the most elite clientele. Camera. Tumbleweed! Oh my god. Small rose stored inside a test tube. It's good for both hellos and farewells. In the language of flowers, a red rose means passionate love. A collection of branches from a sakura tree. In the language of flowers, cherry blossoms represent a woman of superior beauty. Okay, let's give her that. Oh, damn. Okay, okay, I went too far. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Girls are not easy. I can't forgive this. I'll never forgive you for being this nice to me. Oh, we did it, Chad. We did it. I didn't see it coming, but hey, it was the perfect gift. <laughs> she got debated. <laughs> Seeing Toku so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. I thought Toku totally hated me. But it's not like she's going out of her way to avoid me. Still, we're not actually talking either. Hey, Toku. What's your problem? What? You have a question? You have a question for your classmate? Huh, is she happy? So I kind of asked before, but what do you like to do in your spare time? Yeah, Toko weird gem. I just write. I'm serialized, so I'm always really busy. When I'm not writing, I'm studying. I'm not an idiot like you. God damn it. I had to go and open my big mouth again. You must hate me for sure now, right? No, it didn't really bother me. But I can't believe you actually write novels and that people all over the, wor all over the world read them. So how do you get your ideas for what you write? Is it like real life experience or... Are you stupid? What? I told you, didn't I write romance novels? How could I use my real life experience for that? 
It's all from my imaginations. It's just delusions. Delusions let you fall in love as much as you want, even if you never do in real life. Or are you saying you can't write romance unless you already have lots of experience in love? No, not at all. It's okay. I'm used to people making fun of me. But someday I'll show them. I go pretty someday and show them all. Boiling over like Magma Toko stormed off. This time I'm sure she hates me. Oh man! Again skill points. Guess I should just talk to everyone, see where some skills are. Class of thirsty, yeah. <gasps> Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. There's still time left in the day. I don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll go explore. Hmm. I don't think Byakuya would talk now with us. We should talk with someone we haven't talked to. I think maybe Aoi. Yeah, let's let's spend some time with Aoi. Is Toka the Tsundere type? No, she's just the weird type. We already spent time with Sakura, apes, and got, a, uh, got skill points, and I really want to get a skill, so... I think it's better to talk to people right now we haven't talked to yet. Pushing him doesn't help. Smacking him doesn't help. What the heck is up with those things? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm talking about the metal plates covering all the windows. Oh. See? See? She does it again. She talks about the... She's in the dining room, talks about metal plates covering the windows. But there aren't even metal plates in here. Ah, I know, we should try grabbing the top and yanking down on it. You got it. You wanna do some stretches with me? I followed Hina's lead and did some elevated stretching. Hina I grew a little closer today. Definitely. We're gonna give her the swimsuit. There. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. I mean, not like, 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 not that kind of like. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh man, oh man. What's up? I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? How come doesn't matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. It wouldn't stand a chance anyway. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. Huh? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah, like he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. But if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Wow, you had stuff like that and didn't get sick? Getting sick is for the weak. If you really dedicate, winter means even lighter clothes. It's all part of your training training huh so like are you the type who gets sick easy actually yeah see you're soft you need more training okay i've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle what kind of remedy actually i do this myself every morning you just strip down to your waist then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin i call it i call it uh what do i call it again a way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Let's take a shot at this. Bamboo beat down. Towel treatment? Is, uh, is this a trick question? Is 
Yeah, it's obviously not yoga, but I, like, I, like towel treatment seems so obvious. <sighs> Darren, a beautiful day to you, Darren. <laughs> Yeah, I remember Prince. It, it it's the towel treatment. Is it something like towel treatment? You got it. <sighs> oh my god, yeah, that's it. I love going out of my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin. God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting in a good rub down. Wait, so you went out on your balcony and stripped down? And you were okay with that? <laughs> you should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I'd hate to see you catch a cold or something. I'm not getting any new skills, chat. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I'd better get something to eat before it's night time. I should head to the dining, ha dining hall then, I guess. Oh, something's gonna go down in the dining hall, huh? Why do I... I always want to teleport, but it doesn't make sense to teleport from here. Does she also take her brain out when she does that? <laughs> oh. I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no. I guess I'm already roped in. Hey, Makoto, perfect timing. Huh, what's going on? Hey, I have a favor to ask. Favor? I have a bad feeling about this. I guess they wanna actually robe up Byakuya. Hey, Come on, Makoto, you gotta be our witness. Witness to what? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one. Call me a coward and shit like that. Oh, no, they're the two of them are just fighting. You're a coward. You are a coward. That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems. That's why you can't do what society asks of you. Why you walk around dressed like that. Fuck you, sir. You don't know shit. You For a lust to yourself, but you're such a coward you don't even realize it. So what? We're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? I know I am. Okay, now let's throw down. Prove you got what I don't got. I accept your challenge. So that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You gonna throw down? You're not gonna like start punching each other, are you? There's there's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside. I see, a simple endurance contest, is it? We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Goddamn straight. Jeez. And they're not even... They're, they're staying in their clothes? Are you guys really gonna go through with this? Shit, yeah! We have done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are without exception all talk. Bring it on! Hell. Hell lets me make... Let's make things interesting. Wouldn't wanna win without a challenge, right? Interesting. We're gonna battle with all our clothes on. But that's idiotic, suicidal. You what, you afraid? Mm. You're going to regret this. Damn, this is so childish. But I mean, I guess they are school kids. And how do they come up with a sauna challenge? You finish, right? What? Oh, you mean apes. Shut up and let's do this. Yeah, enemy. <laughs> oh my god, that image! Wait! But only Mondo stayed in his clothes. Oh, 
up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Yeah, his hair is way longer on this picture. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? It just so happens, I was born with a red face. <laughs> you don't have to <laughs> act all big, <laughs> man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soap right now. Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed, then a few dozen minutes, then an hour. dies here it's mondo and then they will all blame taka and also they will say uh he che like also he like because he had no clothes on they will say he cheated or whatever i don't know hey guys i know you both want to prove how big of badasses you are but don't you think you've done enough god i just can't win Oh, it's night time. They have to go now. <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't miss the bed bug fight. Someone could fall asleep in there and by that breaking a rule. Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. You win or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. Listen to you, you son of a bitch. And bring it on. Uh, Cyperi, welcome to the stream. Nice you here. Sure, I shall hydrate some more, but I think the boys need it more than me here in the sauna. The gates of hell? That's not a good place to push someone. This isn't good, guys. Yeah, you hear him? Better crawl him back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning, then you can start spreading my, my legend. Come tomorrow morning, you'll fall down in front of me, down on your knees, I'll show you where to do it. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. Right back at ya! Okay, well, good night then. Wow, he's gonna leave them there? I really hope those two don't overdo it, but I'm sure... To the death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. I don't like it when the knees are mirrored. <laughs> ah, Darren. Here, you can... Here, for, for a short moment, for a short moment. You can enjoy the other side around. The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. You know, Chad, at some point you will not know anymore which side is the right side. I could swap it around. And you, at some point you will have forgotten which way around is the actual Sami. <laughs> I, uh, I think Mondo's... Like, if somebody dies, it's Mondo. I, like, if someone from the sauna dies, it will be Mondo. He had clothes on. Easy choice. And everyone's gonna blame Taka. Uh, if those two aren't dead, I think it's uh, Hifumi. Video game dude. It's not like I like it that much. I just... I'm just 
you know, making a joke out of it. Like you guys made a joke out of it because you started complaining how you don't like how it looks the other way around. <clears throat> it's like boobs, they are different. <laughs> oh. Oh. You look happy every time you flip it. I look happy because I'm interacting with you guys. That's why I look happy. If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive, because I don't know. That's why I desperately cling to life. Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual, and when I entered... <laughs> they didn't die. I need to set the sound on my alarm. Which sound? The good morning, everyone? The, the Munakuma announcement? Bro, what are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about, bro? What the? Hey, Makoto. Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Are they friends now? They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. Feels gross? Hell no. Feels great, more like. This almost feel like, feels like sexual harassment somehow. Forget our bro, a girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. What you just said, bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. No, bro, you mustn't. Your buddy is a temple given to you by your loving parents. Sam, who won the contest? Who gives a shit? Yeah, don't, uh, yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Yeah, for real. They discovered bromance, yeah. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Manda and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. What happens in sauna stays in sauna. So what should I do today? Ooh, hmm, who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Toko, hello. Is she here to murder me? <laughs> you never know with her. Toko, what's the matter? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that annoying? Well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. I have a favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with me. I wonder if this is because we saw her now... I think I already... Did we see her two or three times? I'm not sure. And where is it you want to go? The library. Huh, are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. Definitely too often. D did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I still have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's go to the library. But it could also be a story related. Okay, I got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? Quiet. Be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. I don't want to interrupt. 
That's kind of crazy. So either we are here to distract him or she's into Byakuya. Yeah? yeah, right, Apes? I'm wondering too. Are we her wingman? He seems to really be focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I had even having to look at you. So you... I, I think my distraction theory is kind of good. That I'm just distracting him while she... Wants to get something or so. I don't know. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Of course. Now hurry up and leave. And take her with you. Okay, no, she does want to talk to him. Hey, um, Byakuya? <laughs> so she is into him! Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men, be a woman dominated by a strong man? I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Get out and go take a bath, you smell. Don't make me say it again. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. Okay. Huh. Animal watching both for glasses, they have to be a pair. Nash, hey, a beautiful day to you. He really duck into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Pyakia, to go that far. You must be really concerned about me. God, Toko is just too much. Oh, she's just too much. Ugh. He told me to take a bath and everything. You must really care about my well-being. Hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Byakuya would be g good together? Well, now, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true, there's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Okay. There might come a day when you understand, maybe. Someday. Well, bye. <laughs> ah, young love. It's true, she did say that she didn't use the shower here yet. Oh, Nash, sorry to hear. I, I'm working a lot too. Yeah. Who would have ever guessed you would go for someone like him? But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Her passion is definitely scary. She's she's the type to kill for her love, definitely. That might actually be the direction this goes. If Toko doesn't die, it could be that she killed someone out of jealousy. Or just because... Yakuya doesn't like that person. She looks like a girl who got to me. I mean, she's the most obvious weird champ girl they implemented here. But, um... All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. She's like the average girl I've met. There's still some time left. What to do? Okay, who are we gonna talk to now? Who haven't we talked to yet? Wait, uh, report card. We actually haven't spent time with Taka. Wait, actually, maybe Mondo. Mondo... Uh, Taka might have a skill about moral. Reminds me of my ex. 
<laughs> oh jeez. Oh. Okay, Taka, where are you? Spend some time with Leon. Mm -hmm. Taka in the kitchen. Wait a moment, can I go in here? What's never in here? Oh, wait, no, I wanna talk to her. The programmer girl, I think. Is this the fridge Sayaka mentioned? It's stuffed tight with food and drinks. Monitor. Everything's totally disorganized. Okay. I wonder how the teddy bear actually operates. Could it be a robot with an AI installed on it? No, we don't have the technology yet. I also like her because she also seems like the weak type that could die. Like, she could be the kind of girl that uh, that Toko would kill if she had sus suspicions that Byakuya might like her. Maybe it's some kind of bear-shaped cyborg from the future. I think she's most likely to be a killer. She might also... Okay, yeah, I see... I can see that too, that she's like... That it's just like a facade, like this the super shy girl and actually she's gonna kill someone. I can see that too. <laughs> Sami's a monster. <laughs> no, I'm like... No, that's not what I meant. I might... I like to talk to her because of it. Because she might not be there anymore very soon. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, Darren. I can see that too, definitely. That she could turn out like that crazy chick. <laughs> you want to sit down and talk for a while? Spend some time talking with Chihiro. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Definitely. So she's the ultimate programmer. What would we give her? What's that? Most people consider it a throwaway watch due to its quick quality. It still enjoys massive popularity thanks to its low price of watch. It shows numbers? <laughs> Some is a blonde. A red scarf. Belonging to a certain masked hero, it's tattered and worn due to the countless battles it's been through. Okay, now that's more for uh, Mondo. Bunny earmuffs? Though that sounds more like Junko, but one of the most popular items from Gothic Lolita designer Inabawa. Yeah, fashion. Jimmy DK t shirt. A limited edition featuring legendary punk rocker Jimmy DK. Uh, hmm. Camera invented to take pictures of electrical fields surrounding objects. Sadly, there's no film in it. Oh, actually, I know what I want to give her. We got a rose whip. Uh, we got like a, a, a magazine. Um, a magazine about dogs and... What was this one again? Fanfic. Second button. Someone's graduation album. Ooh, this one could be for Kyoko. A thin edible film made from starch. It's commonly used as a candy wrapper, but also helps cover up the taste of bitter medicine. Oh, this one could be also something for a convest that might make you think that shining this light on you will turn you small, but nope, it's just that the light itself is about the size of a matchbox. 
for tickets. Ooh, that one would have been good for it. And if facts. Used to distribute a full-length novel based on what the world would look like if, a, if all of someone's dreams came true. Okay. This one I wanna give her. It's more related to bats. It's a guide for junior high and high school students to help with their physical health. Okay, then no. Tongues for sure. As soon as you put this on, you'll feel like you can take on any challenge. It resembles a stereotypical dinosaur. Wait, she wanted to train. Maybe this magazine is still for her. All right, we'll try. Huh? I can have this? Thank you, this has made me feel a little better. Okay, does that mean she liked it? Is it's not really a fitting present. Cats and dogs is unique. No, it doesn't mean birds and bees. What would you like? Well, I would like the gaming console, but it's obviously that's Hifumi. No, it's wrong, Shiro. Oh, it hurts. Huh? Did you get hurt, Shiro? Oh, well, not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. A mosquito? I figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it hurt. Huh? No, because he's the video games guy. Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? Sorry. You don't have to apologize, it was my own fault. But you said it hurts, did it really bite that hard? Yeah, see? Look. She held out her arm, the huge red bump stood out clearly against her pale skin. Holy cow. It's way past itchy now, it really hurts. But why it's so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? You're wrong. Oh no, I was awake. But you didn't notice. No, I noticed, but... But what? You know? Well, I felt it bite me and I looked down at it. But I didn't do anything, I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. You just watched? Why didn't you smack it? Huh? Because that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but... You know? I must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. If it, was that hun if it was that hungry, it would have been really sad not to let it have anything. No, no, he, he cares about everything 2D, basically, and video games. I think he is the... What was his title again? But I think it is based on video games, actually. But it's just a mosquito. Mosquitoes are living things too, though. It might have its own mosquito family. Sorry, I know that's dumb. No, really, you don't have to apologize. But don't go scratching it, okay? That will just make things worse. But what if it gets so itchy I can't take it? Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push it into the bump. That will help. Huh? Wow, I had no idea. You're so smart, Makoto. As she said, she smiled like a tiny cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. So that's a whole other level of scary. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? What is? You know? But the school's completely sealed off, right? So how did Mosquito get in? Maybe there's somewhere here in the school where bugs can live and grow. Some kind of nature spot. Are they still not gonna mention the trees outside of the dining room? A nature place in the school, but I can't say for sure that there's not. Did you just add me? Or, or, or maybe there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. A secret passage. Well, even if there's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somehow. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right, working together is super important. Of course, I don't know how I can be useful. I'll probably just weigh you all down. That's not true. It makes me feel way better knowing you're here to help. Does? Really? Yep, so let's all do our best, okay? Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you, Makoto. Is the game just not going to give me any more skills? Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. <sighs> yep. 
Yeah, I get that, Kingsnaker. That's why I'm talking to every character. But no, none, no one besides uh, besides Toko and Sakura have given me an ability. Oh wait, no, Sayaka gave me an ability and Sakura didn't give me one. Sayaka and Toko gave me both one ability. Wait, what's happening? Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Is somebody gonna die, chat? There are some threats about those trees. <laughs> oh. Can't imagine. Hmm. Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this, but could he possibly want? Indeed, what might away us this time? Hmm, he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? There's something totally messed up with you if you can love at a time like this. Which of us is actually messed up, hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. Oh. Oh! Oh, Hina. Are you a killer, Hina? I mean, that was one of my theories. We think the next murder will happen around the pool, and if it happens around the pool, Hina would obviously make a good killer because she would use her talent somehow to execute that murder. Yeah, I know, Prince. I already heard that. It still, it still seems so weird to me that the game never would ex explicitly point it out. It seems so silly whenever they like complain about like no windows in the dining room. Like, how did they not notice that at the deaths? And I mean, it, all it took was one line, right? Like, oh, there's an one line describing that scene. It's not window? That is still a window, Kingsnaker. That is still... That is still a window. Even if the... If that's indoors, it is still a window. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. That reminds me, remember how you kept talking about how the police or ever could ha come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well, that's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. Strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. The police suck! On the contrary, the master might may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Oh, this might not be related, but... Then don't say it. Mm. Nope, gonna say it. Like it's about last people night, people. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. Then all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Mm. A sound that... I don't really know what it was. What kind of sound? Mm. Well, like I, I said, I don't really know, but if I had to describe it, it was like a construction site, I guess construction site. I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? arrived. What 
hear of her, it wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> that can, can kind of sound like construction in a way. You've been reading through the derotypes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more. I'm also not familiar with all of them. What are you talking about? <laughs> Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I'm fully puckered. It's a secret, little secret. Fine, well, let's move on to what you can tell us. Why do you call us all here? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, you mind if I went a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this um, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Listen, can I just be frank? The next blackmint hasn't shown up yet and I'm getting bored. So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demanded thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say, just awful. I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own. And I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. Yeah, Makoto. You think you, you're ready to kill someone so just nobody knows that? <laughs> Come on. That's very dark. For sure. What? And thank you, Akisep. How? How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours if someone doesn't become blackened by then. All your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection of vans strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by money mate? Yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reel that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but... I'd never kill over something like that. What do you say? He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. Oh, no! Is it because for better or worse your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? Stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assumed you'd be all the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, he's saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay then, 24 hours I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad. So depressed. Fair not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's death. I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe dodged a bullet on this one. I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing, but that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? To Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? If we do that, any of an all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... I don't want to hear a stupid story. What? Besides, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. Neither do I. Not because it's unpleasant, but because it's impossible. Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it's look up for you. 
absolutely not. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on. As I said. Come on, come on. I said I don't want to talk about you, human bag of lard. I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Jira? I'm sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. If everyone's tried that much against it, even if my bros that one that, that, that suggests it... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> even if my bros the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. Somebody's gonna kill over it, but Makoto's secret is definitely not worth killing someone over. No, Toko is in love with Byakuya, Panda. Nakoda's secret is terrible, uh-huh. Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die cause of it. I mean, they won't even, like, if it's exposed to the real world, they still will be here, so what does it really matter? Wouldn't the secret expose the killer? Maybe. Like if you look if yeah, if you look at all the secrets and you pinpoint like which secrets are worth killing for, then yeah, maybe that pin narrows down who the killer is. So you know um don't do have anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kinda makes me worry even more. Uh, okay, sorry, I know it's gonna be tough, but... <laughs> Night time already, huh? Okay, let's call it, eh? Good idea, we need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one we headed back to our rooms. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spying didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. Yeah, I, I would think that other people have like some some worse secrets. No, I mean one of one of those secrets could be the smoking gun. Oh, no, no, there is no, 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 there is no murderer amongst us, Panda. The murderer was already disposed of. The thing is, whenever a murder happens, a trial is held. And the way it works is, uh, during the trial, they, you have to find out who murdered the person. And if you, if you go for the wrong person, you're game over. Because the rule is... That if you vote for the wrong person, the blackened gets out and everyone else is killed. Uh, so basically you always catch the murder right in the trial or your game over. But yeah, Sakura could have killed people outside. But uh, there is no murderer amongst us right now because we already caught the last murderer. I'm not gonna tell you who and how and what because you still wanna watch that what? Enjoy it? No, really, I'm serious. Don't watch all of it, but watch the part with the trial and everything. It's super fun. So, um... So, yeah, um... You can you can watch that and the watch how that works. But maybe it's just being optimistic, which is probably without too much of a struggle. 
Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep, but what I didn't know is that even then a tragedy was taking place. Yeah, Prince, kinda, but Panda hasn't watched so much, so, you know. I actually think he doesn't take as much many spoilers from this right now for what he's gonna watch in the what. It could, but so far it hasn't happened really that much. I still think, yeah. Whatever. I mean, it's Panda's decision, ultimately, right? Hey, do you have a second I want to confide in you? It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between like, Oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of a moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering what's the point I'm trying to make. Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Morning. Good. Good. Good oh. morning. <laughs> nice reaction, I'm glad to see it didn't disappoint. What what are you doing here? I wanted to spice things up, so instead of school dancing, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun! And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. See what? Are you, are you sure you should be acting this light back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates? What? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What happened? What are you talking about? That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck! Something's, ha something's happened to someone. Okay, chat. Somebody's definitely dead. Apes, are you st are still betting on Toko? Um, I I'm still on... I I still I'm still thinking Hifumi. I'm still thinking Hifumi. Oh... Though he for me doesn't didn't have a big impact. But maybe that's also why. I think it's a boy. So many girls already died. I think it's a boy that's gonna die. And I think out of the boys it's he for me. Okay. Is it was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would but what if? No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Struvel Peter. Yeah, Struvel Peter. Nope, he's here. I haven't seen Toko, but I also haven't seen Hifumi. Makoto. Are you okay? Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... Byakuya. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibly forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um. So if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook, do you realize how dangerous that is? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Stop saying that already. There's something wrong with him, for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. <laughs> the game is afoot. Pool!
I'm still feeling the pool. Huh? The door's open, but aren't these to these supposed to be locked? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Investigation. Just as I thought. Yakuya. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on. And the locker rooms? They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Suspicious? It seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girl's locker room. This muttering as if he's as if he talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, pressed his hand against the girl's locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment time seemed to freeze. It's Chihiro! We're both wrong. But they're killing another girl? Jeez. And the killer wrote bloodlust behind it. But then, see what I said yesterday about, like, let's talk to her, she might be dead soon? Was also right. I didn't want her to die, no! No, I said I wanna talk to her because she might be dead soon. I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at, but as soon as I did... A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. <laughs> You're speaking to her led to it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't, like, that would be also awesome. But I don't think this game does something like that. But like, if, if Toku was actually into us and not Byakuya, and it was just kill off every girl we talked to. I mean, that's kind of like Doki Doki, right? But yeah. Oh, was that the same poster? I tried to suppress my scream, but it was useless. I searched, it searched out of me, like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Byakuya, on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all, this all unfold in front of a TV screen. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been sus look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her, how could it not be brutal? No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. It's all as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? That was swimming. I was still reeling uh, to con was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to send out before I could even begin to clear my head. Hey, I heard screaming at something. <sighs> nice. Doki Doki is really short, Prince. Watching a playthrough doesn't take that mu long, t uh, that much time. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the hell is that? Ah, oh, that's right, you were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement? Then Chihiro really is... dead, yes. 
Before you start screwing your head off, go around and run up. It seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all passed. It's like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear and anger. We all just stood there gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim. Which means we're now in the same position once again. Fuck, man! What the fuck is this? It's a dream! This is a dream! It's all just a dream! In fact, I haven't even been born yet! I don't have any memory of ever being alive! Shut up. Ooh, that looks bloody. No, there are more important things to worry about right now than a dumple. What? What do you mean? For now, pay attention to the wall. Huh? I said it once already. There's a word written there. On the wall. Fine. The word bloodless is written on the wall in blood. I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. But you know that thing about writing bloodless and blood doesn't it sound kind of familiar? Yeah, they're all gonna suspect Byakuya now because he was like obviously this whole time saying about this is all a game and you have to plan. But that's exactly the reason why he's not gonna be the killer. We'll see, we'll see, Prince. This was about genocide, Jack. I still think they are gonna. They are all gonna uh, suspect Byakuya. What if Kyo Kyoko is actually genocide, Jack? I mean, if genocide Jack was actually here, she would be the candidate. But maybe it's just somebody faking it as a genocide Jack murder. Gina said Jack, the murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Gina said Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Perhaps it is the work of the real genocide Jack. The real? Wait, are you saying Gina said Jack is here in the school? Wait, no. You know what? Struble Peter is Gina said Jack. He came here as the ultimate, as the ultimate, I don't know, though, uh, he's playing us really good then. The thing is, his ability makes no sense. He, here, him, Yasuhiro, because he, he came as this, as this ultimate, as this ultimate clairvoyant. And spent a million yen on a fucking glass ball. And thought it would be like a crystal ball that would give him like the fortune. That story made no sense. Like his ability makes no sense. So I, I feel like his ability is fake. The, the whole story with the glass ball, it all made no sense. It, it, like, if he had, was an actual clairvoyant, uh, clairvoyant, how would he end up with a fucking glass ball for a million yen? Yeah, okay, so um, that, that one doesn't make much sense either. But that is something that people can attest to, right? When, like, you research on the internet? I don't know. Going so far as to write bloodless at the scene, I'm surprised at their stupidity. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking actually that rather somebody would rather write bloodless there just to frame it. 
I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. What is it now? Toko. You know, I was pointing toward the entrance to the girl's locker room. Ah! Toko was the last to arrive and now she was just standing there. Why? Why? Gone she is. She fainted. That did not sound good. Toko. He now rushed over to the cult's Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up. Oh, that's right. I just remembered what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. So she's homophobic. I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. Yeah, that also makes it so that it's hard for her to commit a murder. Yeah, true apes. This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. <laughs> and I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Ah, so since you didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. As if she'd heard her. Toko suddenly shot awake, as in she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction. I was at a total loss for words. Yeah, or well, she's playing being homophobic. I mean... She is super psycho. Toko is super psycho. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. In no time flat, she was just standing up. Oh god, her faces, man. Ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through, her emotions were totally haphazard. What? Sorry about that, I was just too shocked. You know, it happens, right? Was it the only one? Toko, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Who's that? Was that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? What the heck? She must have hit her head real uh, hard when she fainted. The world has a front and a back, a top inning and a bottom, a, a sea of truth and a web of lies. Well. This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, 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 everything's fine. At least the status all gone. That's a good thing, right? It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. It might be best if you take her back to her room for the time being. I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? If you need help, I don't mind. Taka, could you help me? She totally ignored me. Very well, you take care of the girl and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard today again? Hold on a second, rushing to investigation? The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. There is no question that Shihiro was murdered by someone among us. Isn't that right, Murakumer? Right as rain! But don't take it as a bad thing, it's just a fact of life. Because... That's how graduation works! That's happened again. Is that what you're saying? That another one of us... Another one of us killed a fellow classmate. What, does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Actually, I don't have any either, sorry. Stop monologuing and giving uh, give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> I sure did, chum. Allow me to present the next Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. So please do your very tippy top best on this investigation. No way! Do we really gotta do another investigation? Examining the cor examining the corpse of one of our friends, having to suspect all our other friends. I hate this. I can't take it anymore. I hate it too. I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. You're very enthusiastic about all of this, are you not? How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump into it so soon. What, do you want to die? Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead, you're a waste of space. Dead body is an object? Jiro wasn't an object, show a little respect or I'll beat some into ya. 
Everyone, stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakuya said. Kyoko, if we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are for fate. And if Byakuya is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Chira, then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. Forget more victims! If we mess this up, we're all dead meat! Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. In any un one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. What? I don't remember any rule like that. I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Okay. Poisoning the food? Not an option anymore. In that case, why not limit it to one person? Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. Just one would totally murder that possibility. Farewell for now, I'll catch you guys at the class trial. I can't say I understand this, this thinking, but if you can't kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. Yeah, that means actually that the culprit could decide to shut somebody down who's close to the solution. You need to shut the fuck up. Well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop Toko off at her room. Nice, I'm gonna get dropped off. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation too soon. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. First of all, I'd better check the Monokuma file to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Chihiro Fujisaki. The time of death was estimated to be around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girl's locker room on the second floor of the school. The sauna was the night before, right? Yeah, I think so. The cause of, cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? Do you need something from me? Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know? So what do you need? I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. S solve? No, it just... You seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. So invite me to come with you. You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Now then, shall we get started? But, but we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened. Well, it looks like we're working with Byakuya on this one. Hmm. There's a dumbbell on the floor and this is a bloodstain. There's bloodstain on the dumbbell. The Monokuma file said a blow to the head with a blood object is what killed her. Does that mean the stumble was actually the murder weapon? It doesn't imagine it could have been anything else. Hmm, yeah, it seems pretty simple, the murder weapon laying around here. Yeah, she was killed in a simple, fast fashion, but the murderer still decided to put her up like that so I think it's just framed as a genocide jack murder maybe to frame actually Byakuya because I would think that everyone would jump to the conclusion that Byakuya is the murderer right now there's blood on it sure like yeah of course there's blood on it the post has got some blood on it. It must have happened during the murder. Uh, however, guys, uh, I think it is time for me to hit the hay.
I'm very tired. Um, and I have slept very little. And I know like if I dig too deep into the investigation now, then I want to do the trial, then I want to finish, you know, it's gonna add up. It's gonna add up. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Uh, it could have been Sakura. It could have been Sakura, actually. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out. If you're new to this, you enjoy it, please consider to drop a follow. And we will see each other tomorrow again. Damn. I can't even remember when the last time I did three streams in a row, like on three consecutive days. It was fun. I enjoyed it too. And Panda, check out the VOD uh, from yesterday. Don't You don't have to watch all of it, but like, you know, when the death happened and everything. I'm moving in slow motion. Am I? Because I'm tired, maybe? Well, anyways. Thank you guys so much. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hello. A beautiful day to you beautiful people. How are you doing? I hope you had a beautiful week. Over here in Germany we have like uh, holidays. You're drunk. <laughs> I mean it's fair. It's holidays. It's Easter, Eastern holidays, right? I would assume every one of you has like Eastern holidays. Green screen has vanished. What do you mean? How do you know green screen has vanished? I mean, do you see anything moving in the background, apes? <laughs> That is no proof. <laughs> and hey, sleepy and hey, busty. Yeah, no, I didn't. When I sent you the video, I didn't really mean you were like him, right? You're two completely different people. But yeah, the stuff about the PhD program and how that went, that reminded me of what you told about uh, your university life. Though I guess you share the ambition. He's like, the, the dude in that video is very, a very ambitious person. And I guess you, you did share that too. Nice green screen, right, Kingsnaker? You know, I even, I even changed the image, right? I, I made it a little bit more versatile than in the past. <laughs> Almost fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> Stummy, still your sleep pants? No, this is not my sleep pants. It's nice, uh, comfy summer pants. Coffee mug is not smudge. Oh, <laughs> damn! Twitch chat is is gathering hints. I, I just figured it out. I just figured it out. The perfect setup. I just figured it out. See, I'm not getting cut any anymore anywhere. You see, it's, it's just perfect now. I just figured it out how to do it. See, like over here, armchair, nothing is grisly. I'm just a genius. That's it. Hey, Tronsta. <laughs> a beautiful day to you. Oh, Basti! See, even Tronster is month is nothing compared to the eternity I will spend watching Summer Stream. But I will proudly talk the lead and show people how to be a responsible coffee weeb <laughs> and how to be a loyal Samu addicted weeb. Oh, thank you so much, Basti! What a beautiful number! Thank you. Thank you for all your support. Remember, if you don't have the money, it's it's fine if you need to stop subbing. I it's really I appreciate you. I appreciate you a lot. Like 
Tired of dealing with it? See, even Tronster is filled. Even Tronster thinks the green screen is, go is gone. That's how perfect I set it up. It's my free scam Twitch. Why is it scammed? Is it not your own Twitch Prime account? That is totally fine. That is totally fine. Like I myself, I'm back to working four days per week, so I will be financially doing well again for a while. So really, there is no pressure ever. There should and there shouldn't be ever any pressure on any viewer to spend money here. Of course, it's not my own Amazon Prime. <laughs> I mean, Amazon Prime compared to other services isn't that expensive. I think I pay like 60 bucks a year. Hey, Marcel, how are you? Welcome, welcome. All right, let me, let me start the game. You will not believe what I did in the, in the game scene with the green screen. You, your minds will be blown. Your minds will be blown, chat. Look at that. Mind blown? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. How are you getting through the restricted home time? I see the noise on your shirt. Damn, Kingsnake, I spotted it. Kingsnaker spotted. It's not all flawless. Uh, uh, uh. Alrighty. That's still some bucks I can throw on your screen. Yeah, that that's true, Basti. That is true, of course. And I don't, I don't mind you throwing your free bucks at my screen. Never. At least Sami is looking. That is true. That is true. We have no flipperino. Uh, mm, index. It should be the investigation, right? Yes. Yes, Panda, I am live. A beautiful evening to you. Uh, yeah, we're, we're in the investigation. Poor Chihiro died. Panda, did you check out last uh, yesterday's what a little bit? I mean, if not, you're gonna now learn about the process for the first time. I, I'm pretty sure we will do the trial tonight. Okay, uh, let's talk to everyone first. You'd had a real complex about being weak. You heard Chira talk about it, right? Wait, it was a dude? Wait, Chihiro was a dude? Oh, can you actually see the art? It looks so reflective on the preview. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna say it, chat. The art is actually not part of the background image. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spill the beans here, right? Oh, you mean in the, in the, in the thing, the one in the game. This one's still amazing, all right? It's from Ella. She gifted it, to, uh, it was a present from her. Can you see it or is it too... It fits the game really well actually, it's very nervous. It's reflecting uh, pretty heavily. Oh. But yeah, it's, it's really awesome. Really awesome. So much noise. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Couldn't fool you fully, chat. Couldn't fool you fully. Um, 
indeed the art, the image behind me was not part of the background image. I know, I know, I know, Basti, I know. You were talking about the poster in the locker room. But I'm still sh shocked. Chihiro apparently is a guy. You know, I based my assumption on who's gonna die next that already so many girls died. But I thought Chihiro was a girl too. God damn it. You heard, you heard Chihiro talk about, right? All I need is to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she's, she said that more than once. Mondo called her a dude. Mondo called her a dude. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl. After all, most girls aren't all that strong. Isn't Shira sleeping with the fishies? I don't get that reference, Panda. Yeah, probably, apes, probably. Yeah, he said, dude wanted to be stronger. But yeah, Chihiro is dead. Oh, sleeping with the fishes is just being dead. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man, I haven't really thought about that stuff. The cause of Chihiro's complex, I can't help wondering what it might be. Okay. I use this locker room all the time. Now it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else than carried here. She was very light, that is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still. I still think she came here on her own by choice. What makes you say that? She'd been talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise? But according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? Hina or myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. Instead she came to exercise in the middle of the night? Perhaps, but it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, nice. Oops. So yeah, she went here to train. She asked someone to train her and got killed by that person. Honestly, Sakura seems pretty suspicious to me now. I mean... Who else would you ask, if not Sakura? And Sakura offered it, and Shihiro did seem thankful for the offer. Quality options? Yes or no, Prince. And a beautiful day to you, Prince. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to try in secret, but that she also would have come with someone else. It's a possibility, I think. Though, if Sakura did it, Sakura wouldn't talk about uh, somebody else accompanying her here. That's nice, Prince. Now I believe it's about time for us to move on. Already? New clothes won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. That's true, but... If you satisfy, satisfy, satisfy let's hurry up and proceed. He's so pushy. I got caught up with the wrong person this time. But I wanted to check out more in that room. So this is our next location. Huh? This place is related to the investigation? Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? I mean, I guess Byakuya won't be the murderer if he... Or he, like... Or he is the murderer and keeping an eye on our investigation. But no, I don't think so. I think he's like to rule out since he's with us all the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> is Leon written anywhere on the wall? Hmm. 
Hmm, Apes, you're right. Like, I don't... Hmm. Though she was thankful and Mondo promised to never yell at her again, so I could see her asking Mondo. But yeah, I also actually think the most likely is if she didn't ask Sakura that she would ask Aoi, who also jumped in for her when Mondo yelled at her. So yeah, Aoi might be suspicious. I mean, it is around the swimming pool after all. There are a bunch of different pool related items on the shelf which have, noth have nothing to do with the case. Maybe this gun was used to... No, impossible. If that were true, Chia would be riddled with holes. If I remember right, this card here is meant to work with our handbooks, right? What? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Munakuma. Said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? You called for me? Has it been say right. it? It seems that Makoto has a question for you. you sure, what's up? Mm, well, it's just about this card reader. Yeah? The card readers have all been designed to interface with each of your e-handbooks. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. And it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? If there were some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl, the ceiling-mounted gatling gun would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. And the school regulations prohibit anyone from lending someone else their handbook, correct? Of course. Correct, correct. So then, that means only girls can go in the girls' locker room and only boys can go in the boys' locker room. In other words, Shiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means... Hey Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me? Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Shiro was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Good lord, you simple. Yeah, I'm thinking that is too easy. The killer could have gotten a girl's handbook. And like, like the killer would on purpose try to place the body... Um, try to place the body in the opposite locker room, basically, to make it look like the other gender did it. A corpse party? What the fuck is a corpse party? And and what is that about the opinion falling apart thing? But am I wrong? You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prepared with Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Togami family, so you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. Knowing you, I would bet you created a purpose, didn't you, to add a little more excitement to things. You're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They are things. Yeah. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on, you're saying that's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it, so... So sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Byakuya and get your poop together. Or else I charge you with criminal neg negligence. Pass system? What's the... What does that mean? Oh, it's an anime horror game. Oh, okay. Okay, never heard of it. No more questions. Figure out the rest of your own damn self. That's fine. Well, I know you're unfortunately lacking in mental faculties, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall? That will help you understand what's going on. We came to the main hall. 
So what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure it out for myself? The hunk of metal blocking the entrance seems like some kind of machine. I mean... This is one of the monitors. I don't see any clues around here anywhere. Yeah. Surveillance camera and there's what I can only assume is a gun attached to it. It's so chilling. There's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? It's an e-handbook. No, wait, there's three of them, but what are they doing here? Hmm. So you finally found them. Huh? Did you know these were here, Byakia? I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. It seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. Oh! Wow. So the killer can just grab them here and use them. So then these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon and Sayaka? You can go ahead and confirm it for yourself. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks and when it did... Sayaka. Of course he grabbed Sayaka's first. You're right, this is Sayaka's handbook. Now, do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. I see, yeah, now I understand. What? Hmm, hold on a second. What's Very wrong? Strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. Then the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. The memory of it came flooding back. That cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind concocted. A cruel, heartless death. You're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to, br handbook to break during that kind of assault. Oh damn, I didn't even see it. Was it another bot with some poor small streamer? You want to buy some promotion thing? Leon's dead. King Snaker, what? Uh, but wanted me to get famous. Yeah, all these, all these lovely bots caring for me. Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey! What? That a young bo handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it did. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it wouldn't do crap. Oh, but... Oh, but, uh, even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does? That's a secret. I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks. Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm, hard to say. Yeah, someone else could have broken it. You know what I think? I think this handbook isn't actually broken. But you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. What just happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. It's just out of power? I don't understand what the point, what's the point in buying followers. Oh yeah, followers is super useless. Nobody cares about your follower number. But viewers obviously shoots you up in, in the listings. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. Yeah, me too. Okay then, this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite? Hmm. 
All right, I'm, a I'm allowed to move freely. So... I can't sw switch the map though, so I guess... Hold on, there's still more here waiting to be checked. Oh, okay. What is it though? What do you mean by that, Yakya? To be exact, not quite. Okay, it's just the dialogue. Yeah, affiliate get is getting affiliate is very easy. I mean, even 50 followers is not hard. Like, there are discords for, like, you know, all these little streamer communities and stuff. And if you just, like, they have like channels for that. <laughs> I mean, I got it naturally because when they, like I streamed already when they uh, affiliate became a thing and I already had like, I think 700 followers. So I just got affiliate instantly when they um, added the affiliate start status. I mean, it's the hardest part, but it's easy, yeah. <laughs> of course, Sammy got it naturally. I mean, yeah. I was just already streaming for quite a while when they added the affiliate status. However, I was streaming in German. <laughs> Natural, perfect streamerino girl. Being, in a har being a Hearthstone queen, yeah. Back then I was like streaming Hearthstone only. Like very rarely I did play something else. Certainly, I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think, you truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Absolutely, I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. That murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? There's nobody else it could be. A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They are like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. They say he's killed thousands of people, but that's gotta be an urban legend. Still, could one of us really be a demented, psychotic killer like that? You're not wrong to wonder. But words mean little right now. I have something that will prove it and I can show you. Well, then show me. Don't make me repeat myself. And I have a basis to believe that. I assure you Genocide Jack is one of us. Is there really proof? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro. Evidence? Does something like that really... Big travel, need your help. We're busy, leave us alone. That's an emergency, emergency. Come on, please, you gotta help me. Please. This is a serious emergency, please, you gotta help me. Just calm down, okay, Hina? But, but, it's an emergency. An emergency, what happened? Something's wrong with Topa, she's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do, Byakuya? Since it's Toko, I must admit, I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me, Don't repeat, make me repeat myself. I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he'd just say no and that would be the end of it. Okay, come on, hurry! Let's go. It looks like she's headed to the dorms to Toko's room, most likely. You're right. Yeah, I mean, Toko is definitely a crazy nut. But I think it would be too obvious for Toko to be the serial killer. Is Toko inside? Some kind of emergency. I barely remember those times. Yeah, Panda! Panda? Wait. I think Basti... Uh, I don't know. Panda or Basti? Who, who watched me first? 
I mean, Panda was also watching me back when I was streaming Hearthstone in German. And I'm pretty sure also like the first year I streamed. And pan then Panda forgot about me. <laughs> and returned three years later. <laughs> You start with Final Fantasy. Which Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy X? When I streamed Final Fantasy X? How could you forget? I know, right? Apes, how could you forget me? But he forgot me. Then I think Panda actually has watched me before you. Because X was... I streamed, 10 was like the last game I streamed in German before uh, before doing my break and streaming in English. I never forgot a cute blonde. Well, you forgot me, so you're just saying I'm not cute. That's all you're saying. <laughs> I think you're just too fast. Oh, enjoy your food, sleepy. You're not blood. <laughs> so what is this emergency? Well, after what happened in the girl's locker room, we left her in her room so she could lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her, you know, see how she was doing, but when we did, it was weird. She refused to come out. She kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff? should try talking to her ourselves. Good idea. I may as well give it a shot. How am I supposed to dig deeper? <laughs> yeah, I think Panda betrayed you before I joined. <laughs> I think truth is that Panda lost interest in Hearthstone, and so did I. Now I remember actually, I remember actually, I remember that so well because Panda back then when I was streaming in German wrote me one of the cutest and nicest, I'm gonna say the word now, fan mails. <laughs> it was really sweet, it was really sweet. Imagine losing interest in Hearthstone. I just found a sweet redhead to spend my time with. And then I came back. <laughs> uh. No, I am getting the Final Fantasy VII Remake Prince. It hasn't arrived today, though. Feels really bad. Everyone got it earlier. I checked. I, it will arrive for me on Tuesday. You don't remember it? It was a very sweet mail. Like you, you like that was back when when Twitch still had like uh not just the small messages, but like an actual page with messages, like where you could have big mails basically. Uh I honestly don't know exactly the contents anymore, but it was like it was like the, it was something along the line like uh how I should never stop streaming. <laughs> I didn't post a Twitter video. Yeah. I'll repeat myself here. Fuck Twitter. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I didn't. I'm not gonna fix it now. I think I know the next game. Yeah, Kingsnaker. Genius. <laughs> this door swung open slowly and silently. Jeez. Holy crap. An aura of negativity fl flowed out of from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. You, you, sh you truly can, Panda. You truly can. 
Boys Overwatch, hey! Welcome to the stream, thank you for the follow. Do we have Sami's a toxic emote? Not yet, no, not yet. Uh, was that wise? I don't know. Um, nothing. It's just that he never was really worried about you holding yourself up in your room. Oh, he's voiced. How you doing? Yo, have you played this game? Oh, did she have experience prior to this with Genocide Jack? Someone close to her got murdered by it? By him? By her? And just like that, she slammed the door in my face. What was that? She's been acting like that the whole time, but I rang a little while ago. I'll drive out the killer, drive out the murderous feet. It doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down her door, but I felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. Toko was scared enough to even bar her door. Does she think the same thing as Byakuya? Does she think the serial killer Genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko's so scared? Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Well, Byakuya... She loves him, after all. Uh, the Keck W leaf doesn't show for me either. But I, I, I have not that many emotes uh, enabled. Just, you know, the, the classic ones. Monka S, Pete the Hands, stuff like that. That one shows for me. Yeah, I don't know if it's from uh, Franker, Franker's face or if it's from uh, Twitch, uh, better Twitch TV. Yeah, but we also have the Franker face emotes. Um, hey, Byak um, hey, Byakuya, you think you could ask her to come out of her room, I mean? That's fine. Sure, whatever. Huh, you gotta talk to her, Byakuya? Wow, I guess you can be nice when you want to. I wonder if Byakya is actually interested in her. It would be hilarious. Byakya stood in front of her door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. After a few moments... What do you want? Leave me alone, you're all so annoying! No. Ah, Bakula! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't keep our promise. But don't worry, never again. I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. And with that, the door slammed shut. Even Byakya couldn't pull it off. There's no nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. Hold on. Hey, Byakya, what was Token talking about just now? Something about a promise? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. If I say I don't know that me what that means, I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. No, she's not genocide Jack. She said she wouldn't let I mean she could be if she has like, you know, uh uh, uh disorder, uh personality disorder, I guess. Then that sentence would make sense, like, Genocide Jag is inside her and she's not gonna let him have control again. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, Prince, I get that kinder. But it could also be a thing of, like, I don't know, someone being close to her murdered by Genocide Jag. I don't know, I feel like the, the, my problem is, like, I follow your logic, Prince, but my problem is, wouldn't it be too obvious, right? We're in an anime in a murderous enemy investigation game. It would be too obvious for it to for it to j just be Toko. Yes, Prince. <laughs> I 
know, okay. However, besides the numbers, okay, if they didn't do that stupid number thing, which was clearly Leon, uh, I think the previous case, like, to, to get to the conclusion that it was Leon was not that simple. Did you forget towel treatment? <laughs> King Snake, I did say the first murder is the least liked. Oh, I didn't see that. Why is it the least liked? Because of the numbers? Just because of the number thing? Because that's so obvious? Oh, yeah, okay. I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because it's so obvious. Yes, yeah, see, and if that one's un not like because it's too obvious and too easy, I mean, it is the tutorial case, though, let's be fair. Um, I think it would be too obvious if just Toko was genocide Jack and killed, uh, and killed Chihiro. However, I do wonder if somebody manipulated Toko into killing Chihiro would still Toko count as the blackened or the one that manipulated her into killing the person? I think it would still be Toko who's the blackened. She wouldn't count as an assistant then, would she? Hmm. Without waiting for a reply, Byakuya sped away. And I hurried to catch up. Yeah, I think so too, Apes. I think only the person that actually commits the murder is the blackened and is the person who would get free. I tried to talk to him several times as we walked, but he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. He just kept on walking towards his destination. Finally, his feet brought him to a stop in front of a certain room. The library. Come on, let's go in. There's no point in checking there. We need to find real clothes. Knock it off. What does a death lamp matter right now? <laughs> uh, the ladder again? There's no point in checking there. We need to find real clothes. Man. Let me... Just let me look at the stuff I want to look at. Oh. There are no clues there, we need to check out. Oh. Man, I'm getting... I'm getting controlled here on every corner. So what do you, does he want here then? Mm, is the evidence that proof is with genocide Jack really in the library? Don't make me say it again. Check that. I mean, I guess we check this one too. But when people were manipulating someone else to murder, people would be a good way to circumvent the max to murders. True apes. True. I mean, you could take this even further, but if it wasn't just... Uh, manipulation but i don't know hypnotizing them to do it right would they still be the blackened did we check here i think we did i mean really monitor and On the ceiling? I 
If I remember on the other side of this door, it's the archive, right? Oh man, I thought I thought that was the act door to exit the library. Hypnotizer Jack. <laughs> Hurry up and go inside. Oh here. It all makes sense once you're inside. Oh yeah, it all makes totally sense now. Or there's so many books and files. And so much dust too. I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. There's a wooden box, it's empty. Although judging by the smudges and the dust, it looks like there was something inside. Hmm. It looks like a rope, but with something tied to it. I wonder what it was. There was an extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful while I was in the library. An extension cord, huh? Okay. There's a ton of thick files stuffed onto the bookshelf. If you're thinking of looking through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic, disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. It's the kind of thing any normal person wouldn't ever want to look at. Be careful. Huh? What do you mean? All those files here are investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh. Hmm. There's so many files stuffed on the shelf. What's in all these things? Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? They detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a commoner. You mean like members of the Diet or something? No, I mean the ones with the real power, the secret council controlling everything from the shadows. If you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There are some very interesting people in there. You're just kidding, right? Am I? I'll just let it go for now. Oh, so the, those are two... Um, Uh Oh, one What? Ah, there we go. Oh, huh, it's a desk lamp. Oh yeah, it's the same one I saw Byakya using in the library before. You have a problem with that lamp? It was here before, then I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. Hmm. If you pay attention to your surroundings, you're sure to discover that value for yourself. Haven't I clicked up at everything? Mm, I guess I didn't click on that shelf, huh? This shelf is stuffed tight with files. Without really thinking about it, I picked one at random. Ah, you have a sharp eye indeed to select that file, huh? That's the ro report on a presidential assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in for peeking at it. Without making a sound, I returned the file to the shelf. So, are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? The entire reason I was interested in the library is because of this room right here. It's home to classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? That's you guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it a lie. Well, it's not that, it's just, it's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put all this together? I mean, he's the ultimate lucky student after all. So obviously he picks a very interesting file. I suppose it goes to show just how much Hope's Peak truly wields, or perhaps the mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. 
Mm. It's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. <laughs> no, no, Prince. It's it's still like. Do you see anything moving in the background? Yeah, I I think so too, apes. It's all inspiration for 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 the murders. What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? I can, can you believe it so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. What do you mean usually? Usual? Normal? Ordinary? Simple? Those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do you? Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? But what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? The documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there is no doubt. Hold on a second, you're saying you've read all these documents and more than once? But all this has to be like top secret confidential stuff, right? So why? My family has a reading room, just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. Huh? Members of the Tugami family have access to any variety of government-related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How's that possible? I already told you, there is a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. My family is a member of that council. And I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. But to become such a ruler I must know all levels of this world backwards and forwards. So whenever I have time I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. Which is why I can proclaim without a doubt that the materials gathered here are the real th thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. Byakia is actually starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. And what always interested me the most were the cold case police investigation reports. Reading through those reports has always been a hobby of mine, ever since I was little. It's excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports. And among all those reports, one of my recent favorites is the Genocide Jack case. As he talked, Byakuya grabbed a specific file from the shelf. This is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack cases has been compiled in here. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main point. <laughs> yeah, it's no... I mean, it's 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 no secret that like Byakuya made it very clear that he is gathering inspiration. He even said so. He said like this is a game and like he needs to win and like he said he said it basically. He did already state yesterday that uh, it needs to be well planned. Sounds like a cold, yeah. To begin, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. The first characteristic is that at every crime scene in the world, bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood, the word. And the second is that when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust is written in blood and the victim's body is suspended. That's still no proof that it was Genocide Jack. It's exactly the same as what happened to Chihiro. Save your surprise, the best part is yet to come. For the second characteristic where the victims are suspended, the only ones who knew about that particular fact were members of the police and other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about that aspect of each crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about this act of mounting the victim. Now if you recall Chihiro's corpse, her body was most certainly mounted in this fashion. Hey, Trihaga! A beautiful day to you. I mean, if someone would be clever, they'd kill Byakuya sooner rather than later because he's gonna be a difficult opponent later on. <laughs> yeah, the more time you give him to, to plan his perfect murder, right? I, I think so too. Byakuya, like, he's taking his time sitting all day in library coming up with the perfect murder. Um, it's... He, he should be taken out soon. Look at the other guy, straight idiots. <laughs> yeah, in, in terms of guys, the game doesn't have much to offer. I will have to agree on that. 
So how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? That's the key question, but in fact the answer is quite simple. The culprit isn't a copycat killer, it's the real Genocide Jack. That right there is the evidence that Genocide Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. That Genocide Jack really is? Such a brutal fiendish killer really is walking around among us? Okay. I think it has to be Aoi. It has to be Hina. Like, just think about this chat. Who? Or maybe not. That would be another girl dead. But like, Genocide Jack Killer has to be like the biggest sociopath who like came across super nice until now and then will like, as soon as we discover him, will be that it will be that super creepy turnaround. That super creepy psycho turnaround. It's not Toko, that would be too obvious. True apes, true. The, maybe the moral guy, Taka. I think he would make a good turnaround as a psycho killer too. You know, always like pleading for morals and everything. And then in fact, like, there's no way it's Mondo. Mondo's just a brute. I'm still kind of feeling Hina. I don't think it's Byakuya. Like, why would he tell us all this if it was him? Hero? Oh, Hero. You are right. Yes, you are right. It is Hero. I even said that yesterday. Hero's ability makes no sense. Like, how would he, as the ultimate clairvoyant, get tricked into buying a crystal ball for 1 million yen? Hero is so fake. I mean, obviously Kyoko would also be a possible... Yeah. I like to think we are all Genocide Jack on the inside. He's kind of an idiot. I mean... Come on, it's like his ability, like his ability obviously is fake. So I think Hero might be, Hero? Yeah, actually I'm seeing Hero 100% now. Because, yeah, I don't think it's Byakuya. He wouldn't tell us this. Toko would be too obvious. Mondo is just a brute. Aoi, Hina? Kinda possible, however, I don't think they will kill another girl. I'd rather be Genocide Jim. Also, by the way, do I greet you, Solheim? A beautiful day to you. Oh, that new shooter game from, from Riot? I haven't looked at it yet, but I remember the like I saw the trailer a long time ago and there it looked like some Overwatch alternative. Things are really getting starting to get interesting, aren't they? I never imagined a killer with such a reputation would ever become part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. If you get down on your knees and back, I might even show you myself. Jeez. There's a ton of thick... Okay, I thought I was supposed to check it out. Okay, could you let me see it? Well, you didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. <laughs> How's, oh my god. That's what a file would look like, right? Black, in big letters, murder cases of genocide Jack. That's exactly what a re police report looks like, chat. Top secret. <laughs> Are we suspecting everyone again? I'm kind of sold on Hero, Kingsnaker. Muscle wife is innocent? Yeah, I don't think it's Sakura. At first 
first I thought Sakura was a little bit suspicious because Chihiro, like Sakura offered Chihiro to, to train together, right? Um, but this just seems to, like the, 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 the style of murder just seems to delicate for Sakura, right? If it didn't say top secret, how would you know it's top secret? <laughs> that is true, Kingsnake, that is true. But my top candidate is Hero, and after that, Hina. I also already explained, like, I'm not uh, suspecting everyone. I don't think it's Byakuya because he's showing us this stuff. I don't think it's Toko. Toko would be too obvious. Yeah. Couldn't Sakura just kill everyone and walk out the door? Yeah, but she should have done that sooner because now uh, Monokuma added a rule that you can only kill... Uh, every person is only allowed to kill two people at max. So Sakura sh could have done that if she had acted fast. But not, not anymore. Yeah. But at the start, there wasn't that rule, so at the start, she could have totally done that. I mean, I yesterday said myself, like, the best strategy actually would have been to just poison everyone uh, at the dine dining room. <laughs> like, no trial if no one's alive. Paralyze all the people and kill two at the time. No, you're. I think the way it's meant is, like, in your whole... During your whole stay, you're not only allowed to kill two people. But I guess if they're paralyzed, they can't vote during the trial either. Alright, Zing. Enjoy. Suddenly my hand stopped. I had reached the page where photos from the scene of each crime had all been collected. Oh, but it's always scissors. The names of Genocide Jack's victims ran on for several pages. Ken Harada, 32, Tetsuhiro Honda, 17, Shoji Gaku. Wait, what is the last name of uh, Toko? Fukawa, okay. Let's see if there is a Fukawa. Komatsune Taro, Takofumigono. There was no end to it, but one thing became perfectly clear as I read. All the killer's countless victims were killed and suspended in exactly the same way. Yeah, but like the thing is, will the trial even be, um, uh, be commenced uh, when everyone's paralyzed? Alrighty, Zing. Thank you for the lurk, I guess. And, and enjoy your new... Like, I'm doing the same currently. I'm also reorganizing my flat. They forfeit their vote. <laughs> if you're the only one who can vote, you can't vote for the wrong person because then you'd kill yourself. Huh. That's a weird paradox, isn't it? I don't know. I guess, as a black man, I guess it doesn't matter what you vote, right? And at the scene of every murder in the world, bloodlust was left in the victim's own blood. Hmm. Now take a look at the next page and you'll find another interesting tip. tip, tip. Profiling results. All of the crimes took place either on weekdays at night or during holidays either day or night. The most common time for the killings to take place was on holidays and in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could be suggested that the suspect may be a student. 
Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely there was an, any external reason for this. How do they know they were in panic then? How do they know then that Jack was in panic? This confused behavior suggests that the suspects may potentially suffer from dissociative identity disorder. Really? It's just Toko? Nuts. <sighs> yeah, that is true. It's just, you know, Kingsnaker, if you think about it that way, at, in that position, yeah, case closed, right? And it seems pretty obvious that Toko has maybe a... But that would be too easy, come on! Also, what was the promise she had with Byakuya? Yeah, Kingsnaker. So in other words, the key point here is that the culprit may well have a split personality. Split personality, like the kind of thing you see on TV? So I'm part of another totally unbelievable story, but this one is way more unbelievable than anything else up till now. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind has gone numb. Hmm. Go. Alright, we should get going soon. Where are we going? Anywhere but here. We've finished our business here, haven't we? Wait, Byakuya? As usual, Byakuya turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. This is my new theory. Chihiro was genocide Jack and everyone will die. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't think Monokuma would hold the trial then. Monokuma always knows who the killer is, right? It is on surveillance. Like it is... He always knows. Well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Just all of a sudden like that? Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Well, goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. Just as quickly as he'd asked me to join him, he'd cut me off. In the end, I felt like it was just some plaything getting tossed around. At the same time, I'd uncovered some really important clues thanks to him. Jazz said Jack, he's the one that killed Chihiro, and that murderous fiend is one of us. But who is it? I have to find that out no matter what it takes, and to do that, there's somewhere I have to go investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene, the girls' locker room. I should check the boys' locker room too, and the others might have come up with some info I might find useful while I'm at it. I can find out everything I can. Safe while we edit. It would be really interesting if a murder happened. Munakuma did not know, would not know. True, true. But yeah, in this game, like the mastermind, Munakuma, whoever is almighty, it seems. Ding 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 ding! Hifumi has discovered evidence revealing the identity of the culprit. Hmm, another stat increase for me. Evidence? What did you find? I cannot reveal that just yet. Oh, wrong voice, Chad. But I I guarantee that what I found will steal the killer's breath from his lungs. Are you sure about that? Oh yeah, Miss Lunberg said she'd visited something worthwhile too. Really, what did she see? She refused to tell me. It's like when the girl bullies the boy she likes, right? Right? Oh, t I totally forgot about Celeste. Damn. Wait, I totally forgot about Celeste! 
Celeste with a goth look? Obviously could be a serial killer too. <laughs> but I don't know. Celeste doesn't seem like someone who would kill people because of a, 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 a identity disorder, you know, or personality disorder. Celeste looks like someone who would just kill them as her real self. How could you forget about Celeste? The warehouse by the by the dorms. She was there, but at the same time not there. What's it gonna be? We have one character that mess. Yeah, Sakura you mean, right, Sleepy? And I never forgot about Sakura. Dude, that real... Oh yeah, we already had that. Hey Kyoko, have you made any progress on your investigation? Generally speaking. But I have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? Byakuya and Kyoko are both disappearing at a similar time. Hmm. Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Shiro's body one more time, thoroughly. Also, a handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girl's locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. And Shiro's handbook is missing? That's definitely worth worrying about. Damn. Shiro's presence here was especially weak. Her body and her soul. No to target such a helpless being, it's unforgivable. What a wretched beast to do such a thing. I cannot forgive this. Did we get this edit, by the way? Hmm. I love Mondo because of his hair. His hair is hilarious, and in cutscenes, it's even longer. Also, welcome to the stream, Jersey Devil Do. Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. Well, I'd better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Jira's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up in a kind of crucifix position. Huh. This rope has a pluck. Oh, it's the cable from the archive. Why would you use that? I mean, I'm, maybe there was no other kind of rogue around. Yeah, Kingsnaker during the sauna scene, that was hilarious. Wait, so then this isn't a rogue at all. But the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Chihiro's fatal injury was the blow to the head, which means someone stuck, struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right, there's the issue of her being suspended and the fatal blow. First, I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. But seeing them again, after looking through the genocide jack file, something's not quite right. Yeah, the others were like stabbed multiple times. What does this all mean? Well, the one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the robe that was used to suspend Chihiro. And to figure that out, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. Plus, it might help to look at the genocide Jack case, uh, Jack case file one more time. I mean, maybe there's actually no other robe around in this whole building, so they used the cable instead? Library... Where's the library again? Oh yeah, here. Oh wait, we're already at the second floor. Well... I can't go there. What? There's still more? There's the bloodstain on the carpet. Could only have been caused by Shiro's murder. Am I supposed to look at the letters again? 
The word bloodless is written on the wall in blood, just like in all those other genocide jack cases. In every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. Am I supposed to look at the poster again? Yeah, but how did Ao Ahina know about the about the part of having to hang them? You know? Like I am with you. It's the pool, you know, it's the pool, so Hina would make sense. But for now, Byakuya kinda cleared her in proving that. Apparently, no one knew that uh, the the victims of Genocide Jack were hung up. Yeah, the words seem to have been always there. The blood is the most noteworthy part, but the big breast symbiote model is pretty noticeable too. A girl's locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd find something like this. No, it doesn't have to be a girl. We already learned, we already learned that uh, in the main hall, that was the girl's locker room, yeah. But we already learned in the main hall that the dead hand, uh, e-hand books were laying in the mail. So everyone could have gone into, inside. Yeah, the mailbox. However, a girl would still make sense because she could have asked a girl to do some practice. Like, it, it, it's not completely off the table that a girl would make sense like if they went together for practice. It's only, yeah, but the regulation is only that you're not allowed to um, loan it to someone, apes. They explained it, so using it, Monokuma himself said that is the loophole. So you can just take someone else, else's and use it. Also, Leon's handbook was broken for some reason. Uh, yeah. Am I supposed to talk to him again? We already had this. I thought he hinted at us for going to the library. Oh, I'm um, yeah, true. I was supposed to check the boys' locker room too. Wait, the poster changed. <gasps> The posters were re were switched. I thought they just had both the same poster. Huh, this poster. It's a popular boy cat band called Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite seem to fit in the boys' locker room. Oh, but wait, that reminds me of the poster in the other locker room is. That's right, there's definitely something strange about this. In the boys' locker room, there's a poster of a popular boy band. In the girls' locker room, there's a poster of a big breast swimsuit model. Do we have like another swap a -roo here going on where... But what for? If you can use the e-handbook to get in? Making uh, Chihiro believe she was... In the boys locker room? Why would you make Chihiro believe she was in the boys locker room? Yeah, right, Prince. Could the posters have been switched? But if they were, why? What reason would anyone have? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little more about the locker rooms. There's a strange stain on the carpet. What is it?
Was she actually murdered here and brought over? But all the blood was in the other room. I thought they just censored men juice. <laughs> uh. Huh. <laughs> really? Who would know more about the locker rooms? Yeah, still the same. Yeah, it's possibly. But why swap the posters? Yeah, so it was the other way around, so she thinks she was in the... But I mean, she would recognize the doors. How would she go into the boys' locker room and just by the poster expect it to be the girls' locker room? Oh yeah, that could be a day, it's true. Just because the blood was on it. But if anybody has access to the locker rooms with the e-handbooks from the mail, well, I even go through the hassle placing the murder in the other locker room. Oh, just to make it look like she went practicing. Yeah, probably just to make it look like she went practicing because she was talking about getting stronger. Yeah, I think that's it. So she didn't actually go practicing. Yeah, but if it's a common fact that everyone can go basically into anyone's locker room, there's no point in it. But yeah, I think the reason is just to make it look like she went practicing. So to make the other girls suspicious. Okay, so where is Celeste now? Oh yeah, wait, we already had that. What else am I supposed to discover here? Maybe there was also more in the boys' locker room now that I think about it. Maybe he says something else now? No. No, I didn't, but I think it was already added to our truth bullets actually last stream. Yeah. Maybe I check the poster again. This is really strange. In the boys' locker room, a popular boy band, and the boys' locker room, a swimsuit model. Could the posters. Yeah, okay, it's just the same. And I read that wrong. Of course. Oh, yeah, you spend a lot of time in the locker's room, right? I've used it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Cena and I use it together. Okay, then let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys' and girls' locker, locker room could have been switched? Sorry, I can't really say it. I've never really paid any attention to the posters. I see. But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other, op other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down a glass of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day I spilled some on this carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. Stain. But I don't see any stain on the carpet now. Of course. Exactly, I noticed earlier the stain has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. Protein and coffee, the makings of a true coffee waifu. Coffee tied waifu, yeah. Yeah, the stains now, so the rocks were swapped too? I mean, I guess it makes sense because the blood is on the rug, right? But still, isn't it unusually clean? As if there was never a stain here to begin with. Disappearing stain. Yeah. I mean, yeah, probably because of the blood on the, on the carpet. Mm. 
All right. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I am. Hmm. Murderer definitely went through a lot of trouble just to swap the locker rooms. Yeah. And I'm wondering if really just the only reason is to make it look like she uh, she was out for practice. Seems a little bit uh, exaggerated. The wooden box is empty. The extension cord was in there before. I want to take another look at Genocide Jack's case file. Hmm, I know it was around here somewhere. It's gone. Did someone take it out of the archive? But the only one who would do something like that, I can't think of anyone but Byakuya. Hmm. It's a document about the secret council revealing the kind of truth the commoner shouldn't go near, so I guess I'd better not. It doesn't matter, Makoto! You're, you're, like, not in the real world anymore, you're here. The report on a presidential assassination is really intriguing, but if it means I become a target, nope, I'll leave it where it is. Thank you very much. How worried he still is. The desk lamp. Byakuya grabbed that one thing from over here and put it over there. It sure is dark over there. Oh. It sure is dark over there. He didn't want me to look at this. Because, yeah, it isn't dark. There was a lamp here. Oh, the lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see, it's not plugged in. The lamp's cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here. But last time I saw it, it was definitely on it. It was definitely right here. Oh, that's right. Bucky was using an extension cord. But there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... Yeah, the other, the extension cord. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Guess not. I thought it was about the plaque. Hmm. Let's see what the truth bullet says about the lamp. I thought he would like say that, that this is the extension cord that was used. I feel, really feel like Byakuya is the one. Oh, it's too obvious, though. I don't know, man. I also feel like Byakuya will be one of the last contestants, so... I, I'm not feeling Byakuya Panda. Also, he wouldn't have told us about the Genocide Jack stuff then. Unless he framed it. I mean, yeah, okay, Panda. True. Byakuya had the knowledge definitely to frame it as a Genocide Jack murder without being Genocide Jack, right? He had the knowledge. He said like no one knew it, but obviously he knew. So I guess he would be the perfect candidate to frame it as a Genocide Jack killer. But I feel like it's too early for Byakuya. I feel like he will be one of the last contestants. I mean, he's sitting in library all day planning this super perfect murder. And then he's gonna be blasted, like, as the second murderer? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like his, his case must be, like, tighter than this. Uh, I mean, the weights are a good hint that at least the person should be strong enough to hit with them, I guess. But, yeah, I don't know. Not Sakura. Sakura is innocent, man. Alright, where do we go next? Right. True Prince. I mean, that murder weapon did seem a little bit too easy. Yeah, we don't know how heavy they actually are. Wait, maybe the proof, the truth bullet says. 
The dumbbell found on the floor of the girl's locker room had a significant amount of blood on it. It doesn't even state that it is the murder weapon, right? So yeah, it might not be the murder weapon. That looks heavier because like it has like, what is it? Five discs on each side, if they're all a kilogram. 10 kilogram, maybe? I don't know. Oh, Hina, how's Toko doing? Same as before, she won't come out and she just keeps on mumbling something about Genocide Jack. So I just left her there. You left her? My head was all swimming and I was getting pretty hungry. Oh, but don't worry, I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Toko's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? A donut, of course. Of course. There's two things I'm sure God created, outer space and donuts. Really? I bet she here would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. So here's the thing. I think if it was Hina, it is actually Genocide Jack. Hina would make the perfect candidate for like the psycho around. If it's Byakuya, it's definitely not Genocide Jack. Then he framed it. But I'm... Yeah, I don't think it's Byakuya. I still don't think it's Byakuya. I could see Hina. I definitely could see Hiro. <laughs> Tree hugger. <gasps> Your main suspect is, is Hina? Okay. So, but if it happened in the boys locker room, then probably actually Leon's then probably actually Leon's broken card has something to do with it. Which hints at a girl having done it, which hints more towards Hina to be honest. Hina using Leon's card to go into the But why? Why did the murder happen in the boys locker room in the first place? Like if the killer had the means to go into the girl and the killer had the means to go into both locker rooms, right? Because the murder happened in the boys locker room and everything was swapped and placed in the girls locker room. So the killer was able to enter both. Why did the murder happen then in the boys locker room in the first place? It's the real killer is the cameraman. No, it's not the murder weapon, but I'm saying like if the murder happened in the boys locker room, I feel like um, Leon's broken e-handbook was used to get in there. Hmm. I bet she here would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Uh, I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Oh. Yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like, like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you and her invited Shiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yeah, totally. yeah, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Mm. Oh! Chihiro is a guy. Edmondo knew. Chihiro is a boy, and Mondo knew. Mondo called Chihiro a dude. And that is why Chihiro was in the boys' locker room and murdered there. Oh, Mondo is getting really suspicious now. Because Mondo knew she was a guy? And they could have totally went together to practice. That boy is too cute. Huh. Okay, yeah, but I'm 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 to I'm one hundred percent certain Shihiro is a dude. A trap. And I'm quite certain Mondo knows. 
The soul is willing, but the body is weak and spongy. <laughs> can you visit Chiro's room? Maybe. Maybe we can. Okay. I don't know, she talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? Oh wait, maybe. Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's see if we can actually go into Chihiro's... Possibly not. Pyakuya? Uh... Wait, which one is Chihiro's room? Chihiro. This is Chihiro's room, but no ch now Chihiro's gone. Why? Why? Yeah, we can't actually go inside. She liked computers, so she must have been a boy. Toko. Yeah, we should check on Toko, I guess. This is Toko's room. I should probably just leave her alone for now. Mm, okay. Oh, the warehouse. That's right. Yeah, the author is Toko. <laughs> yeah, it definitely helped, Apes. Thank you very much. I appreciate the effort. she did have a strong opinion about gay people you're right I remember huh I mean Toko is super suspicious also with like the uh, personality disorder however I feel like still Toko would be too obvious I like the Sakura's thighs we all like Sakura top waifu Celeste, what are you doing here? This warehouse is amazing. It's absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. And you did find something? Very well, I will tell you, and only you. Last night I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. Really? This was right before night time. Mm -hmm. What are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just... Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. So yeah, Chiro went practicing in the boys' locker room and got killed there. She stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, oh, I assumed she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this ever would have happened. You get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. But the strange thing is there was no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag Celeste said she saw Chihiro carrying, which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. We're already starting the trial? I'm not ready. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for! No, I'm not ready! There are so many possibilities still. You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon!
Leon is the murder weapon. What happens if I try to go somewhere else? There's no running away now. The red door, I have no choice but to go through it. And probably I can't teleport either. Don't push your luck. Yeah, I can't teleport. 